I want to ask one question. This cat was just so you know I'm not crazy. Oh, fade it down. Welcome to WZR TV, nice everybody. Fade. Nice slow fade down. With the no, what happened? No. <laughs> you know wrong, Steam? Dipshit? Uh, it completely stops for a second and then oh. kicks in. <laughs> Anyways, for the chat room. Any, ah, we got so many European guys. Maybe they, There's no way if they do it here, they do it over there. Anyways, have you guys ever heard of a tradition on St. Patrick's Day where if you don't wear green when you're in high school or middle school or, or even elementary school probably, if you don't wear green on St. Patrick's Day, what happens? What, are, what does somebody else do to you if they're wearing green and you're not on St. Patrick's Day? Tell us in the chat room, wzronline.com slash chat. Tell me in the chat room. If you're not wearing green, which neither of us yes. are That's what supporting, uh, supporting green today. Uh, I'll oh, look at the first answer. Look at the second answer. Oh. You want to apologize? I'm not going to pinch <laughs> it. No, but anyway. Yeah, is that what you do? That's what you do. So you got pinched. You're not wearing green. You're not allowed to pinch me, dickhead. Oh. Well. Anyways, they both confirmed it. Thank you very much, Mr. Winner's Lair and Robbie, a.k.a. Stick Crazy Roller. Stick that in there for the, for the night, right? I smoke green cigarettes with a green lighter, <laughs> with so green I got lighter. that, too. <laughs> uh, so anyway, yeah, it's St. Pat. The only thing I know about St. Patrick's yeah, Day You get pinched, you get pinched, you get pinched, you get pinched. Everybody knows it. The only thing I know about St. Patrick's Day... Nobody in this house will confirm. I said, is, Al, uh, his sister, I said, tell me what... Is, I don't is, know. A lot of people drink on St. Patrick's That's Day. That's true. Green so, beer, too. If you go to a that, bar, if you go to a bar, they have green beer. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the White House today. There were uh, there were photos of the uh, photos of the what? Fountains. You knew I was drinking. Why would you do fountains? That? Uh, because when you tap a beer, when yeah, you but do you a tap, have you each do have to drink at the same time. That's true. But anyway, uh, so so the White House had their fountains and things like that. The lake in front of the White House, or the little pond that they have. Okay. Uh, it was all green today, and then the uh, Chicago River in Chicago, Illinois, was uh, all green. Like they put dye in it, or uh, or something like that. So, so anyway, but uh, happy St. Patrick's Day to all you Irish people out there. And just a little uh, corny thing for me, rest in peace, Timmy Mac. Today would have been his birthday. He was a very oh, yeah? he was a very very Irish man. Was he? Who was born on St. Patrick's Day, and his last name was McConnell, right. which is about the most Irish last name. Most Irish, that right, you right, get. right. So right, he was Irish right, as shit, and right. born on St. Patrick's Day. Rest in peace. Is Ronald McDonald? I don't know. McDonald sounds McDonald. Kind of Irish, and he's got red McDonald. hair. Yeah, right. So maybe. Seamus. Seamus. Seamus is clearly. Yeah, he's the Celtic warrior, and which fine. I never knew it was a word. Because aren't I was, you supposed to drink Guinness? Isn't that kind of the Irish beer? You know, Guinness is, I think is it's clearly. A, 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 I right. think I'm not sure. Today's like a big day where people go out and drink. Guinness type beer. Uh, I don't know. It was like a thing. Or my yeah. friends would always still drink whatever <coughs> the cheapest beer was, and they would make a green for you, and that's yeah. what we drank. So, yeah. well, anyway, uh, so here we are. We're a little bit late tonight. I had a uh, conference fault, call with uh, with an advertiser. Business. Been doing a lot of conference calls uh, this past week, man. There you Just go. Talking to advertisers, different uh, different companies, and and things like that. Hopefully, uh, everybody's getting along in the chat room. Yeah. Got a couple of emails. We gotta before, give uh, them props here, Robbie, aka. Crazy Roller for the second time with Dublin. the fact checks. Okay. All right. Says the Guinness Brewery is in Dublin, which of course is in Ireland, so you were right, and he confirmed it. This so guy got, knows uh, everything, man. We ask him about the pretty pins, good, man. We ask him about the he's Guinness. He's running the fly, too, man. He's, he's the quickest dang. response. Yeah. Um, so we got a live chat room. You guys get along in there tonight, right? Be right. good, little boys and girls. Be good in there. Be good. Uh, WZROnline.com. Slash chat. WZROnline.com slash chat. So, here's the deal, man. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, we haven't been going down or running down Monday Night Raw from top to bottom, Not man. As thoroughly Just as we used because to. People watched it the previous night, and I feel like we don't have to go through and well, run that, down and everything top to bottom. It gets to the point where, like, how many times can we come on here and say, wow, that this guy's segment sucked? Like, you could just assume at this point, if this guy had a match or if this guy had a segment, you know, and I don't want to name names, but we'll probably name them when we get through the uh, specifics here later. You could just assume it sucks and it's garbage, because it's pretty much the same every time. They're yeah. either consistently good or consistently bad. There's very few guys that are... Some weeks they're really good. Some weeks they're kind of shit. It's mostly if they're good, they're good. If they're bad, they're bad. Period. Mm -hmm. And you can't say the writing will help you because they and, overwrite and for you. And if that's what listen. your character it has, you know, the writers say this character is this, this character is that. They're gonna write.
write the same kind of shit for these people each week. They don't let them diversify that much, and they don't get to put their own personality, their own stroke on the canvas, so to speak. I, so. dude, listen. I say it week after week after week. I, I hate going on Facebook during Raw and I say, that segment sucked. That segment sucked. That segment sucked. Yeah. And then, like, a Paul Heyman promo comes up, and I'm like, all right, that, that, was, was, that yeah. was fucking great. But everything is that sucked. Raw was terrible tonight. It doesn't feel like WrestleMania. And that's what I was doing last night on Facebook. There are a lot of people, a lot of people, like, last night, that were responding on some of the threads that I put up saying, what are you talking about? That was a great segment. That segment was... It was funny. It was yeah. good. Relax. You were telling me that threat. last night. About Dude, the, I don't know which segment you were bashing on Facebook or saying You were suck. sitting behind me, and I, I said... Yeah, but I don't know which segment you were saying sucked, so maybe I would agree with them too, But because there was a couple that was decent last night, but for the but most part, it was... Heyman killed it again, man. Heyman killed it. Heyman the Lesnar sit-down was awesome. That was good. That was um, good. Um... There was a couple other good ones. I can't remember off the top. Orton Sting was a cool moment to have that both was of them. That was close, yeah. Yeah, in the ring at the Reigns. Uh, if the you want to get time. real generous, yeah. If you compare his promo last night to his recent work, I would say he was better than usual, but still not anything to write home about. But I don't. I don't know. It, it just like last you night. I was trying to pay attention to. But I, I, last night I'm trying to figure out. Like there were people that are saying this is a really good raw. Like like raw is good tonight. And I'm trying Did to figure to out. Today? I didn't. I they didn't. liked it too. I mean, they, 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 well, Meltz was kind of tearing it apart, but then they did the uh, they did their regular radio show for their members, and then later they did their radio show, radio show, which is on the radio. Right. And they had Mick Foley on plugging his raffle thing, whatever the fuck, for us right. the weekend. And uh, Meltz was on that t to help do the interview. And Alvarez was kind of putting it over, and, and I think the other guy, Semper Vivi, he was putting it over. Like, yeah, Raw was pretty good. I mean, they had stuff Dude, that they thought just, sucked, but they, they, they said, like, oh, it was better this week. Which I completely like, disagree like, with. I thought like, it was a trope. For the second to last Raw before Mania... That's what I'm saying. Like, 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 10 or 15 years ago, I would re remember after the Royal Rumble, right after the Royal Rumble, like shit a couple of busy, weeks, yeah. shit got crazy, man. And every week you would have to tune into Raw, and you'd be like, man, WrestleMania, I can't wait for WrestleMania. I can't wait for WrestleMania. Forget WrestleMania. We right? would turn Raw off at... 11 whatever p.m. You'd have to you'd have you to say tune to yourself, in the next what? week. What would you say to yourself? What is going to happen next Holy week? Holy shit, I, I got to yeah. wait seven days to right, see what right, right. next. You and you, you'd hate it. And then it, it's like... No, you would love I, it, I, but in a way we're like, oh, God, seven more yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but now, Raw, you go segment by segment. I'm thinking, dude, we are two weeks away from WrestleMania, right? Two weeks away from WrestleMania. Does it feel like WrestleMania? Oh, it's the now, same listen, show I get week. it. I get it. That next week after the TV tapings, after Raw, because there's not going to be a SmackDown next week, they're going to do the uh, the live cut-ins from Access, you know, what they normally do. Uh, maybe not, though, because SmackDown's on Thursday. Is there a SmackDown taping? Yeah, there's going to be a SmackDown taping next Tuesday. They may tape a couple of matches here and there, and then the rest will be live cut-ins. But it does there on Thursday instead of Friday. And that was the normal thing over the past couple of years, is that they would do live cut-ins to to access in the festivities but um and no it just and and but listen anyway. after after raw next monday night the talents are going to fly directly to san jose yeah, okay that everybody gets in san jose i'll just refer to it as but but everybody everybody goes to san jose everybody's in town then the media starts man and and these guys start doing interviews and more and more and more news starts coming out and people start showing up oh bruno san martino's in town you know all these all these these major names that are in town, not necessarily for WrestleMania. I mean, they're probably going to be backstage, but like WrestleCon, the WrestleCon convention that they're having, dude. I don't know if you've looked at the list have, of talents yeah. appearing on that, but there are big, big names at that convention. It's an easy payday. So everybody is going to be coming to town. There's Ring of Honor events. There's Evolve events. There's probably Dragon PWG, Gate events. There's PWG. There anyway. There's PWS. There's all these events. So everybody 
flocked to San Jose around that area. And then you get all the news. This guy said this, this, this happened, this happened. I met this guy in the hotel lobby. And then it starts to feel like WrestleMania. And then... Yeah, last get, year, Sting was at WrestleCon. Yeah. And he was like, teasing, like, hey, maybe next year something crazy is going to happen. And here we are. Yeah, right, right. There, you know. but, 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 you know, and then you'll get the stuff where they'll start setting up at, uh, at Levi's Stadium. Right, where you'll you remember get the what you called it when they first made the announcement. Levies, oh, okay. levies. Uh, but but they'll Drew start my the Chevy to the levy, levy, but the levy, levy was, was dry. dry. All, right. All right, so anyway, but uh, and you'll get the set photos to start coming out, and you see the big arena, seventy, eighty thousand people, and it starts to feel like WrestleMania. You got tons of news, you got tons of media. It it feels like WrestleMania, but the problem is, is the card this year. There's nothing. I think the ladder match. Is is going to be off the fucking charts? I think it's going to be good. Uh, Undertaker, Wyatt, real quick. Sting, Triple H, yeah. But what else? We don't condone banning in the chat, right? But I gotta say, this Connor the Crusher RD guy, get him the fuck out of there. Ban him. Ban the fuck out of him. Just get him. Out He's out. in there talking about I hope Vince dies, and then they kick him. You know, which I thought was like a little premature. And then he comes back and he says. You're kicking a cancer patient here, Jesus. So he's pretending to be the real Connor. They're pretty, they're, they're, away. That's they're, a they're, shitty thing to do. They're pretty good, though. They give you a warning, they kick you out, now and then if you come back... Nigger. So, all right, what do you all think? All right, all right, Cock all right. in your mouth, bitch. Band. There you Get go. Get him the fuck out of there. Go on. So, <clears throat> anyway, you're always going to have that select few trolls, man. You know yeah. what I mean? That, that are going to be in there. But band, IP band, get him out. That's why we got good mods. They're I, always on they're top They're on top of it. He was they're good, Within man. seconds, they had him out. All right, but, um... And we're on a delay. No, 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 no. Uh, WrestleMania, the the thing with WrestleMania this year is you got a couple of matches that I'm looking forward to. I'm not going to say I'm not with the IC title well, ladder match. Good matches. Triple H Sting, that's going to be pretty good. Yeah. Just because the nostalgia. Be that too. Yeah, there will always be good matches as far as like, oh, that'll be a five-star, four-star, whatever the fuck. Yeah. Quality enter entertainment, quality matches. Right. But are you really invested in the storylines going into the show? Yeah, yeah. Most years, yes, at least for the top ones. This year, I could give a shit and, about almost everything. But not only that, just due to the fact that it is WrestleMania, I mean, WWE put out a casting call for, for example, like well, Rusev. that's a spoiler, kind of, but... Right. Kind of a spoiler, but we put it up on the websites. Rusev and John Cena, John Cena every year and has... Uh, do you remember a couple of years oh. ago... Uh, it wasn't last year. I think it was the Several year Several years ago. You're talking about all the white shirts in a row? John Cena, and they had like a hundred different guys that looked pretty much like John Cena. Do you Cena. remember the one where they did the old-time gangster shit? Because there's a fun fact there. Yes, I do. Up with, up uh, with, uh, it was like Scarface or something like that. Yeah, kind of. Uh, and one of the guys the holding the Tommy gun was who? He ended up being the best in the world. There's a hint for you. A punk? CM Punk was one of the guys standing was he there really? as a jobber holding a Tommy gun. And really? Back, back at the time. He brought huh? it up during one of his promos with Cena. I know this because I rewatched Punk's promos when he yeah. finally got his chance. Yeah. Like those last two years he was in WWE. That right. was like, I loved everything he did. Right. So yeah, I right. rewatch it on YouTube all the time. Yeah. So that was a fun fact. Speaking of Punk, uh, I think it was Fox Sports, I want to say, that uh, interviewed him recently. About the Lesnar advice and all that? No, they asked him, um, well, that too, but yeah. they asked him, uh, Does he do, still watch do you still watch WWE if AJ Lee tells you that, hey, there's a segment that I'm going to be no, in? No, no, His answer was, good. I don't, but if there's something I should watch, AJ Lee will tell me to well, watch tell it. tell me, that's she what She hasn't was. been telling me much. She hasn't anything. told me yeah. anything, so I haven't tuned in. <laughs> that was basically uh, your product still sucks. You, <laughs> it's terrible. You kind of brought it up, and we can take an easy transition from what we're talking about. Well, I want to talk about roots. I want to talk the entrances. Oh, hurry up! No, right, right. Be, there's no transition now. Punk right. was going to be my transition because he's we'll get back the into Punk, but flag and we, yeah, I want to talk about that too. Yeah. All right, well, well, we'll, talk about the we'll, we'll get back to it. We'll get yeah. back to it. But but at WrestleMania, just due to the fact that it's WrestleMania, you're going to have these big yeah, elaborate H entrances. Triple H had the uh, the mask on and last Charlotte year. And some of the NXT Charlotte and the NXT divas, yeah. right? They're, took off his. He was his, on like a throne. Right, or, right, right. But um, so this year, um, they've they're trying to hire like fifty to a hundred Russian sh soldiers, marching Russian soldiers for Russian Rusev. Soldiers. So when Rusev comes out, there's probably going to be a bunch of soldiers lining the yeah. aisle. While, same thing with John Cena. I mean, if you remember John Cena, like I was talking about a couple of years ago, has, yeah. they had all these John Cena characters. So Which was John the thought Cena, from Eminem from the VMAs. Well, I'm the Slim Shadiest, I'm the real yeah, Shady, and he came yeah, down yeah. the crowd 
and the whole crowd was lined with like white boys and white t-shirts that looked with like yellow hair. hair. Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. But so they're gonna do something like that for Rusev and Cena. Of course, and Sting, you're gonna get. Uh, and they Sting. had a bunch of guys to play scarecrows. Which oh, did we they? don't know it's Sting. It could be Bray, but Scarecrow. Right, right, right. Yeah, Sting, yeah, right. right. So. And then uh, you're gonna have the Undertaker's big elaborate entrance He'll that have he a has great every one, year. Yeah. So you're gonna have the entrances, and it's gonna feel like WrestleMania. We're watching it, but it's just the matches and the build up. That's the main problem I have is the build up coming out. Raw last night, I said this does not feel like WrestleMania, and we only got we got the go home show, yeah, man. Raw, it, yeah, it, next week is it, man. That's well, it. Yeah, well, WrestleMania itself will be awesome. Right from the beginning of the show, no the end of the show you'll have a great no, time watching yeah, it. But absolutely. Going into it, yeah, it's not like a, I can't wait for WrestleMania. I could give a fuck. And in past years, even man. last year, I was excited, man. It was yeah. WrestleMania. It felt like WrestleMania. Yes. This year, it just doesn't. Last feel year we like had the whole Daniel Bryan man. thing. We had the Taker Lesnar thing. Uh, There's nothing that stands yeah. out this year. And not only that, but okay, in your WWE title match, man, Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar, right? Paul Heyman has single-handedly <laughs> sold the main event of WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar has, hasn't been there 75% of the time. It's been a, all Heyman. Yeah. And, if and he when is there, Lesnar he is there, he quiet. stands yeah. there. But so it doesn't say anything. Who would you want? Hey, man, hey, man. Uh, of all Absolutely. the guys talking, you know. Absolutely. What do you think happens? I think Reigns turns heel. All right. Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar. All right. Ding, 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 ding. The bell fucking rings. Well, I'm not gonna lay the whole back out. No, 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 no. I'll play the finish. I'm asking. I'm not asking okay. about. Uh, I'm asking about what do you think happens with the fans? The bell rings. Oh. Ding, 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 ding. Do they boo the fuck out of the entire match just because? They want Daniel Bryan, and they don't want Roman Reigns in there. There's a so lot of debates. Do they boo and boo and boo? Or okay. you ask me, I'll tell you. Okay. The, the Daniel Bryan thing will probably be a factor. There'll, there'll be a hardcore fans of we Daniel Bryan, or yes, yes, a lot of that shit. Any anti-Roman Reigns chance you're gonna get that right? And if the news doesn't leak on our websites before Mania that Lesnar has re-signed, if you can think back to WrestleMania 20 at Madison Square Garden, mm -hmm. it was Brock Lesnar versus Bill Goldberg. Stone Cold Steve Austin special referee. Mm -hmm. Lesnar and Goldberg were both leaving the oh, day after Mania. Oh, the shit. And they right. shit all yeah. over that whole match. And if they you did. think about it on paper, Brock Lesnar versus Bill Goldberg? Yeah, you would think With huge, Stone Cold as you would think the crowd match. would love it. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. you would think of not maybe, yep. not even maybe, not even close to Rock Hogan levels, but in right. that vein of like, holy shit, this is a dream match. Right. Fans shit all over because they knew they were leaving. So you're going to have the... If the they, you, they could turn on Brock, too. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people assume, oh, Brock's going to be a super baby face in front of that crowd. I think so. They I could turn so. on Brock if they don't think... If they think he's leaving the next day, right. fuck you for leaving, boo, you know, that kind of I, stuff. I so that, that's going to be a very interesting crowd for a, a lot of different reasons. I, I think... The, the Reigns hatred, the Daniel Bryan lacking of presence. Right. The, the, the Lesnar's leaving the next day. Not only that, but it's like the IC title match, right? If Daniel Bryan doesn't win that match and win the IC title... At the end of that match, whoever wins, I don't care if it's Dolph Ziggler yeah. that wins it, or the Dean crowd Amber. is going to boo the shit because they want Daniel Bryan. And I don't think Daniel Bryan's winning the IC title. I do. Do you? I think he is. All right. Just All right. guess. We'll man. give our, our our prediction Him or next Ambrose, week. But probably. Or Ziggler. I'd say Ziggler, I man. But Ziggler. I, don't think they're, they're, I don't think they're ready. Something's... There's something that they don't like about Ziggler. I don't and know what it is. The Daniel Bryan thing, that's what everybody's focus is. He's in a fucking 17 person ladder match for the Intercontinental Tech. Right, right. How about Dean Ambrose? That dude was on fire, and now he's just another guy, too. I know. It's crazy. Damn man. shame. Um, hey, did you. Uh, look, let's, let's talk about something, uh, because I did promise you that we were going to go back to it. Uh, we had UFC 185. Yeah. UFC 185. This past weekend, we had... Uh, That's a good question, Winner's Lair. I'd throw that in, in uh, rapid fire, unless he answers it. Yeah, throw it up. Yeah, yeah. that too, with the uh, with the wrong thing. Um, we'll talk about it later. Uh, put it in rapid fire, man. Um, but we had UFC 185 this past Saturday night. We had the main event, which was Anthony Pettis. Yeah. And a Showtime, Anthony Pettis. Yes. And... Uh, yeah, dos Anjos. Dos Anjos. Yeah. And uh, I said to you before the fight, I wanted Pettis to win, but... Dos Anjos, I said, so pissed. do it. I can't, God, I've learned how to say this chick's mm. name, Joanna, oh, I can't even come close to saying it now. I knew how to say it because of this show. I was like, let me learn how to say her name. <laughs> All right. And there was a funny thing that they did. Uh, I think it was MMA Junkie interviewed a bunch of, uh, or maybe MMA Fighting, 
plugging all these other competition sites against us. But uh, they interviewed a bunch of fighters. Like, oh, it's tonight you're on a roll with that. But they interviewed a bunch <laughs> of fighters. I don't care. It's all good. Fucking everybody knows we're good, so what the fuck? We are pretty as good. As far as our sites, we got we're pretty good. great. Our sites are awesome. But um, no. they interviewed a bunch Some of fighters. Of sites are awesome. Yeah. And uh, they pretty much, it was like a running joke, like, try and say her name. And, like, even fighters couldn't. They were all <laughs> right, butchering right. it. <laughs> I, I couldn't even tell you. It's J E D. Z R D J E C K Z like it's insane. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Right, the right. hardest name back in the day used to be Krzysztof Szczynski, which sounds right. easy to say, but if you look at it on paper, it's not. Yeah, it looks like whoa. Fuck me, because with play by play, you either got to go with the first name or the last name. Right, right, right. And there was no easy name first or last. Kristoff's is Kristoff's like K R Y S Z T V O F or some shit. Right, right. Szczynski's a fucking mess. But I learned how to spell. I can actually spell it for real. I was just joking right there. But uh, I won't waste our time. But anyways, I would just call him K S. All right. You know, with a Joanne or Georgia Jetson. So where are you going with this Joanne chick? I just wanted to learn how to say her name, but she was the highlight of the show for me. You didn't watch any of the buildups. You don't understand that chick. That was is on a the main star. show. The, it was the, the co-main the event. The women's match. It was a co-main event. It was for the strawweight title. First ever defense of the brand new title, the newest title in the company. Is that the? Is, is she broke an arm? Did she break an arm? That yeah. came out today. She knocked the fuck out. Somebody of broke an arm at UFC 185. I saw that today. Not that I can. Maybe, maybe not one. Card, maybe know. not 185. Wait, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I'm having a hard time Anthony remembering. Anthony Pettis had like an, he had his eye all fucked up. He had to get stitches, and uh, he also or uh, no, uh, Dos Anjos won the fight with a fucked up knee. Maybe you're thinking of that. I don't know. But anyways, those were the main events. And then I Alistair Overstream. I don't time remembering UFC 185, to be honest with Alistair you. Alistair Overstream in Big Country was Oh, uh, Reem, that was like the second fight in. I remember that. The third to last, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, Johnny yeah. Hendricks. And that was the third to last. Johnny Hendricks, Matt Brown. Right, 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 so right. It was a great card. You know. That was really Henry good. Henry Cejudo put I mean, himself on the There match. were huge names. I know Roy, Roy Nelson's pretty big. Um, I know Overeem's pretty big. Johnny and, Hendricks. And Pettis is coming. Hendricks as well. Matt That's Brown. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Matt Brown's, there's some sort of lawsuit going on. Yeah, with, it's, uh, a, it's a, a, a... Right about that today. What's it called? A violent, not a violence. Um, assault. Yeah. Assault case. Right, right, right. But anyway, uh, so Dos Anjos looked Dos good. Dos is a beast. He looked good. That guy has now knocked out Benson Henderson in the first round, which nobody does. He fucking beat the shit out of Nate Diaz and beat him. Uh, he beat Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Mm -hmm. He just destroyed Anthony Pettis for five. It wasn't like he got a lucky punch or something. He right. kicked his ass for five straight rounds. Yeah, no doubt. And dominated no doubt. him. How do you think CM Punk felt about that? Was, his that's top training that partner. Like, yeah, right? he's the star of the gym, and I just stood there in my first UFC at cage side. You know, or I actually had to sit in the crowd, but he walked right to the ring. He wasn't him. in the. He wasn't a corner man. No, uh, like you he said, walked to the cage with him, holding the Rican flag. Yeah, talk about that. He came out. He <laughs> the, uh, and you know the thing about CM Punk, and I had said to you the other day that I think CM Punk is the type of guy that this was Anthony Pettis' fight. And if you noticed, when CM Punk, when Anthony Pettis came out to the ring, CM Punk, despite the fact that he was carrying the flag, he was clearly there. One of two flags. But he was in the back. Yeah. He was way in the back. And I think, he didn't want to steal his spot. I think that was a respect type thing that CM Punk did that said, listen, this is your fight. This is your night. You're just one of the guys. I know everybody says CM Punk's going to be, I don't want to, I well, don't want to steal the spotlight I don't know if you saw the interview. And I'm going to be in the back. Before the show, Pettis did an interview where they, and I got a great title out of it because you would think, so. it was pretty much what they call clickbait. Yeah. Anthony Pettis comments on CM Punk's attitude. And then when you see that headline, you think, oh shit, Punk's an asshole, blah, blah, blah. Right, right, right. And he's got a reputation for that, so people who know Punk, it makes perfect sense. Oh shit, Pettis hates him, blah, blah, blah. Right. You click it, and he's like, oh, I was so surprised by his attitude. He's such a fucking cool guy, blah, blah, blah. He's just one of the guys in the gym. He doesn't want any special attention. He, Anyways, loves, he loves you, Bleacher Report. He loves you. Uh, Bleacher didn't take that one. <laughs> no. They took one today. Uh, the cyborg said she's going to make Ronda Rousey's mom cry uh, when she kicks her daughter's pussy ass. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. Yeah. Rousey's mother is She's not a, one to hold back, right? She's a beast. She reminds She's me of my mom a lot. Did she used to fight or no? Yes. She oh, was did like she? a judo fucking I didn't know legend. that. Yeah. I didn't know that. All right. Female judo, you know, is concerned. She was like the shit. Uh, you know, but anyways. Yeah, yeah, she's not one to hold back on her Ooh. comments, man. And you know who else's That's mother where Ronda gets from. is uh is Paige in WWE. Her mother hmm. is a pro wrestler. Her. her mother's a pro wrestler, uh, or used to be, uh, overseas in in I I'm guessing England or something like that. But she was kind of a big deal, uh, over there as well. By the way Oh, there it is. Joanna and J Chick. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. I think it's pronounced Joanna, which is Joanna. Joanna 
in Yendrechik. No, I don't think that's right. It's very close to Oranji. It's Joanna. I remember uh, here. Joanna Yendrechik. Something All like right. that. Joanna Yendrechik. Joe J. Some shit. I had it. I swear to God, I had it for you guys, and then I lost it. All right, so listen. Um, let's get into it, man. Uh, he was not cornering as well, Acer. He was not in the corner. <coughs> yeah, he was not in the corner. He, uh, real quick before you walked away. To, he, he walked to the ring yeah. with him, but uh, he was not in the actual corner of Anthony Pettis. Real quick, though. All right, so Pettis lost the, the 155 title, Dos Anjos. Jan Jacek, however you say her name, I apologize. Uh, she's a star, by the way. If you watch the yeah. build up, she's so fucking charismatic. There's some charm that she has. She speaks broken English because she's from Poland. Right. Obviously right. with the name, but she's so fucking charming and fun and just real. She's got a real unique charisma. She's going to be a big deal in, in the European market, I think. Okay. Uh, she won the, the 115 strap from Carla Sparza, the chick that won the season of the Ultimate Fighter where they had the whole tournament for the title. Mm -hmm. uh, Alistair Overstream. Alistair Overstream. Beat Roy Nelson. Dominated. Looked great. And now they're talking about doing Overeem versus Junior Dos Santos finally. There you go. Uh, I like Overeem, that. Overeem like did that. get dropped on his ass in the third and final round, but he survived. So that was good. Um, and then Johnny Hendricks steamrolled over Matt Brown. Yep. Somewhat of a boring fight, but he dominated it. Right. I expected a lot yeah. more and from that. And then Henry man. Cejudo beat Carriazzo, Chris Carriazzo in the opener. And a lot of people, Dana loves Cejudo. He's an Olympic gold medalist. Mm -hmm. um, and he speaks fluent Spanish. Uh, so when they go so to that's Mexico, good for that market. So when they go right, to Mexico, right, right. they got to, They don't just have Kane. Hey, hey, and my boy Ross Pearson. And Ross Pearson about him. scored a knockout over yeah. Sam Stout yeah. in the uh, preliminary main event. I like Ross. So Pearson. it was a Big good. Fan. It was a good show. It was good. Fun. Show. It was good. Uh, I like I said, man. I expected more from uh, Hendricks and Brown, though. Yeah, I two, guess two a lot really of people thought they were going to slug it out. But if you're yeah. smart, you don't fight Matt Brown that way. That's, yeah. that's what he's the best yeah. at. You know, and Hendricks got the win. Dog tough, yeah. You Hendricks wrestled got the win, so. and that's what Hendricks did. All right, so all right, here we go. So we're gonna get the plugs out of the way. Then we're gonna touch base on Monday Night Raw from uh, from last night. Al numero dos, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. If you're listening, Jackie's been all over my Twitter feed lately. Why? She's she ain't happy, oh, man. Why? Rusev she ain't Lana. happy. Rusev and, and Lana and Lana's not on television these days because she's off filming that movie with Edge and and they're not splitting up. According to Jackie, they are not splitting up. It's not happening. Lana's coming back and there's a possibility that Lana may come back and be right there with uh, Rusev. Let's hope so. But hopefully she's not too upset because on Twitter, she doesn't seem like a happy camper. But we'll talk to Jackie in our numero dos taking your rapid fire questions as well. Somebody in the chat room, I think it was Winner's Lair, had a good one about Seth Rollins possibly cashing in money in the bank. So hopefully that comes up on uh, on Rapid Fire as well. Hopefully when we put that post up, he'll go away and, uh, and put that in there. Uh, our live chat room on in progress right now, WCROnline.com. Motherfucking die. I don't have to say motherfucking Yeah, but it, I get lost when you don't. Don't trap me in that box. I like to stay... Let me, let me try it again. www.wzronline.com Motherfucking dot com. No, you gotta put some more... I don't like it. I don't like having to do it. WZRonline.com Motherfucking dot com. That's what I like to hear. Slash chat. WZ it just rolls off the tongue. It sounds, I guess. It sounds good. Yeah. WZRonline.com slash chat. Get in there. Lots and lots of people in there as always tonight. Happy Actually, birthday, John Morgan, I believe. John Morgan's birthday today. Huh? Jomo. I'm assuming that's John Morgan. Hey, did you see the video? I, I saw it last night and then I got an email. Um, Ryan. Ryan uh, Rigo in the Rigo. Uh, chat room sent it to me this morning and said you got to watch this. And uh, I had seen it last night, man. It's like a 24, 25 minute video oh, on uh, on YouTube. No, it's uh, wrestling isn't real. It's a documentary is, is yeah. what it's called. Oh, it's, but, uh, there's wrestling in there. It's twice. a parody. Wrestling is wrestling. What is it called? Wrestling oh, isn't wrestling. Wrestling isn't wrestling. Yeah, it's wrestling twice. I know that. And it's some famous guy. You haven't watched that, that yet? No, no, it's no. It's funny, no. man. It What's actually the name is Marty. Fun. I want to see Marty Graw. Max. Land B or some kind of fun last name. I forget how you say. The, it. the producer. Somebody in the chat help me out. It's the, pro me. the producer is Max, but Max uh, what? Um, I don't. I, it's a I famous guy, I think. <laughs> but um, it's got like Joey Ryan was in it. We had uh, Shad Gaspar, JTG was in it. Christopher Daniels, Frankie Kazarian, a bunch of indie guys that were in it, dude. Uh, but they had like there was a girl that was. I think I think the girl's name was Chloe. I think, but but she was playing Triple H, and then somebody, another girl would play Shawn Michaels, and they would come out, and it's basically, it's not PG. There it is, it's, yeah, Max Landy. 
All right. There you go. Well, it's 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 rated R, but it's got like it's got like a half a million views or something on YouTube. You should check it out. It's they fuck funny. with Triple H in it supposedly. Or something? The, well, they basically take it from from Triple H's days of D Generation X, okay. right? He starts at DX, and then they go and they get the military uniforms and the production that went into this thing was camouflaged. Unreal, teams. man. Yeah, and then they go from DX to his days of. Moving on, and China was there with with DX and X Pac, and then they go on to Triple H against uh, Randy Orton and Triple H against Brock Lesnar, and then they they highlight Evolution, and then they go on to Triple H now, where he's a corporate guy and he's a sellout, but it's a whole parody and it's a spoof, and they go back to like nineteen. 90 something with the DX days. I want to say, I don't know, 98, 99 with DX, right? I haven't seen it. I can't remember. The have whole much. WCW. <laughs> but, but, yeah, so they start out years and years ago, and then it comes to today, and then at the very end, Max comes back on there, and they put the music behind it, and he, it's like two minutes, and the way the video ends is so fucking awesome, dude, that you just watched, watched like 22 or 23 minutes. Of a comedy, and then the way that it ends, it's fucking awesome. Speaking of you comedy and DX and Triple H, it's reminding me of this certain reporter, we'll just call him Douchebag, okay. that did a mock DX Titan Tron video. You remember that? Oh, God. <laughs> God. South Carolina, same initials. Uh, oh, man. Man. <laughs> Alaska, South Carolina, where South Carolina, same from. initials. Think South about Carolina, there you go, buddy. I see. Makes sense, man. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, douchebag. Anyway, uh, the official website, the official home, my whole career, but still, the official man. home of WZR TV Tuesdays, WZROnline.com. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WZR Army. Go to YouTube.com slash WZR Archive. We're on Twitter as well. All you got to do is go to WZROnline.com, top navigation bar. It's got a drop down menu, social media tab, drops down. Links to YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, WZROnline.com, the official home of WZR TV Tuesdays. By the way, one thing I want to talk about is a lot of times I get comments on, on Facebook really? about WZROnline.com oh. and all these pop ups, right? These pop ups are going crazy and I can't I can't even view the website. You and I are on desktop computers. Yes. Alright? Well, I go to I'm WZR not. and and I know well, there's a well, a That's laptop, not a right? Desktop. But there's there's a woman named, mm -hmm. named Donna, I think, <coughs> on, on my Facebook page that says I have no problems whatsoever, and I'm on a desktop computer. I have no problems at all, Boone. When you go to WZR online, you get no problems at all. All right. I think the main problem is mobile apps and phones, where there's a pop up that you even get on desktop. And it's only once per hour, or once every four hours, I think uh, I think it is. It should be one pop-up. But a lot of people on mobile phones seem to be having a problem. So I submitted the support ticket to my hosting company. Um, yeah, they're right all saying guys. it's only mobile. All three of them. It's only mobile. So <laughs> everything is fine on desktop. So I've got a support ticket into my hosting company, and we're kind of looking into that because the only advertisements that we run... We don't run any pop-ups. We run one pop-up, and it should you should see it once every four hours or something like that. And then you get the regular ads on the side and, you know, the box ads and the leaderboards and the skyscrapers. But you shouldn't see anything more than that, and you shouldn't be inundated with, with pop-ups. So... We're, uh... Oh, there's a big word for wow. Clark. Wow! Oh, I don't even think I can use yeah, that. That's, that's, a, good that's a good one. No, no, no. Good one, right? I don't even know what that means. Oh, yeah. What the fuck does inundated mean? Uh, uh like slammed overwhelmed? with. Okay. Slammed yeah, with. Like overwhelmed. Like you get tons of bop. Overwhelmed. Go wow! Yeah. I don't think I've ever used that word in my whole life. Inundated. I know I've heard it, but I've never used it. But anyway, the problem seems to be... Thank you. Thank you. I like that. Uh, the, uh, the the problem seems to be with mobile, so yeah, we're to looking. Yeah, that. There's no way that just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rolled off the tongue. <laughs> it rolled right off the tongue. <laughs> All right, but anyways, we're looking to do it for uh, for you guys on uh, on mobile. So <laughs> where do we start? Monday night from oh my God. <laughs> from last night. Where are we gonna start, man? I guess we start at the beginning. Where do you want to I mean, start? it was the that set up the whole show basically. That opening. So yeah. You kind of have to run it down at least briefly. Am I drinking? Uh, if you want, the, no, no, no. There's one. One was already empty, and the other was your floater. So those are your yeah, two yeah, there, brother. Um, 
We got the show open. Yeah, but it's not going to be enough though. But I guess it has to be. It has to be. St. Patrick's Day, man. We should be able to get drunk. But anyways, mm. show open with the authority in the ring. It's Seth, day for you, Seth Rollins, Big Show, Kane, J and J Security, all already in the ring. Right. You want to take over? It looks like you want to say something. No. no okay. Go so, ahead. so uh, basically, what happens is Seth Rollins starts talking. He's pissed that Randy Orton got him last week and beat his ass. You know. Um, and then I guess each guy of the authority, Big Show King, you know, all of them took their turns basically apologizing. To Turned out to be a yeah. big ruse at the end of the show. You but did that last week. It's ruse. Ruse. Yeah. Ruse. 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 It's a ruse. Ruse. Anyways, it was all bullshit anyways. Cause, uh, How do you spell it? With I an don't S or know. Z. It might be R U Z E. It might be R O U S. I it think it's R U S E. R U S E. Maybe that's There's why. There's a lot of ways I could spell it in my head. I don't know. All right. I don't anyway. use that word either. I know. But anyway, that. what, but what do you think of Jamie Noble on the microphone? Well, let me oh tell my you. God, blah, 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 blah. That guy should. <laughs> Mercury's the one that has to be the mute. He's not allowed to talk, right? Right, right, right. right His voice right. is perfectly fine. That's He's the good. kind of guy. If right. Jamie Noble called our show right now. Yeah. And didn't say he was Jamie Noble. <laughs> I know I don't fuck with the callers anymore, but I would not be able to. Help myself with Ale Stuller over, Reem! Uh, Ale Stuller <laughs> over, Reem! Oh, well, thank God! Yeah, Sia Brown's up here, be his friend, and Liam G. He's still right there. He's got the mm-mm-mm mixed with the rrrr, rrrr, southern thing. He was ten. Yo, he's such. He could be such a mega heel, and he can still go in the ring, too, he's, man. I, mean, I can't believe they hired him as an Asian. He was really be honest, He was man. never in anything in WWE. Right, right. WCW, he had a decent little thing going, but WWE, he was just like a... Or I guess he had the thing with, what is it, Nidia, Nadia? What was that chick from Tough Enough the first season? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Nidia. Nidia. Nadia? Nidia. Nidia? Or, anyways, Nidia. I think Nidia. Yeah, they, they had a little storyline, but for the most part, he was just a jobber. Yeah. It always yeah. surprises me, too, like the, art, the, the story that came out, Jimmy Jacobs. Signs with WWE to be part of the creative team. Who the fuck saw that coming? And then I'm Googling. That was crazy, right? I know the name Jimmy Jacobs, obviously, but right. I've never really... I can't put a face to the name, so when right. I go to Google him to get a picture for the article, yeah. I'm like, that guy's going to be sitting in meetings at a desk. Do you still have the red hair? The yeah, red streak like on his hair? Yeah, 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 with yeah, yeah. Like, eyelash... What is it called? But, what is this called? But, let me say this. Uh, eyelash. Eyelash. No, these are eyelashes. What's the makeup that goes right here called? Oh. Eyeliner. 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 Yeah, he has like. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can you can say that about Jimmy Jacobs, but go. You just, we're talking about Joey Mercury. Yeah. Look at Joey Mercury with the long hair just a couple oh. of years ago. Oh, when yeah, I was yeah. Born. When he but was remember doing the Morrison tag with team? Molina and John Morrison yeah, yeah, yeah. as Eminem, right? Yeah. Uh, but he's so not in the fucking crate and wearing a suit and tie and sitting at a desk right. saying, "Here's what right. I think, that Mr. McMahon." You know. I think that's he's a an good agent, thing. Though, which I think that's a good thing. As as position. he's been on the indie scene, and they're going to hire him. It looks like they're going to hire him down for NXT. You know the uh, story about Mercury and Punk, right, with the house and all that stuff, right? Where CM Punk offered to pay the mortgage Not off. Offered, he did. He, he bought did. his house. He did. For him. Yeah, bought it off. Where yeah. was that? Well, Mercury had the drug issues for for quite some time, man. Uh, uh, burning. I don't know. Huh? Why do you look at your dick? What do you think your dick's on fire? Well, I thought maybe the cherry dropped on my clothes. Wait, wouldn't or something you feel like that? that? Maybe it did, know. man. I see a hole in your pants right there. No, well, there's a little hole. Yeah, oh, see that okay. it's I didn't know before. if the cherry went through. But no, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, um, so they all apologize to Orton. Yeah, they all and then apologize. Orton comes out finally, and basically what Orton, did, which is what made the segment at the end and every middle segment during the show pointless, because basically what he said, not basically, he straight out said. I know uh, it's going to be a five-on-one beatdown later tonight, blah, 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 blah. I accept that, this and that. So he's perfectly fine with a five-on-one beatdown. Right, right, And then right, right. throughout the show, everybody leaves and quits the, the helping Seth Rollins. J&J Security quit. J&J Security. Kane and Big Show quit. Or right. They turned their backs on him. Right, right, right. Triple H right. and Stephanie, they turned their backs on him. And then the second we come back to commercial... Time to play the game, you know, and then they all come out together. It's like, ah, we got you. And Orton, right. if I'm Orton and it's real life, I'm standing here like, I done told you at the beginning of the show, I don't care if it's five on one, I'm ready for it. Yeah. So, how does that, oh, we got you? Like, he already said, this is what I expect. So right. He's doing right. what I expected anyway. Right, but I think it was payback for, for last week where Randy Orton had come out in the Oh, I know why they did it, but right. they shouldn't have had Orton made that comment unless he ad lived it. If it wasn't part of the, if it was right. part of the script, it's amazingly right. stupid. Like, right. go out there and say, I don't care if it's five. <laughs> <laughs> on one, I'm ready. Right, right, right. Why say that if your whole the whole storyline thought the whole show is gonna be 
we're going to trick Orton into thinking it's going to be one on one. Right, and then right, as soon right. as this match starts, it's five on one. Right. right. But he already said at the beginning of the show, I don't care if it's five on one, I'm ready. Yeah, that's true. So what the that's fuck true. was the point of doing all that? Yeah, no. It was it stupid. Doesn't, it doesn't make sense. No. Yeah, you're right. We had uh, AJ Lee, Nikki Bella, typical Divas match. They furthered the. Uh, right back beat Miz if you're going to. Are you just skipping around? Here? Divas, I'm just, Oh, you're up here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah we yeah. had uh, Ryback squashed uh, Miz, man. Well, before uh, that, that's where Kane and Big Show got pissed off at Rollins, right? Right, yeah, right, they, right. They right. Did, well, you know, like, like we talked about earlier, they all quit throughout the night. They yeah, all we quit. covered all those. We don't need right, that. Right, right. Okay. Um, we had the contract signing. Listen, all right, here we go. You know what sucks? Let me just pull this back. No, I didn't. Melt, I didn't. So you but. didn't hear it, but like they pretty much went through the whole thing and gave the backstage scoop that that um the lawyer. I guess we're all right. Talk about well, that's that, what I want to talk about. Right now. Hold, hold, hold we were it. saying that as it was happening. I'm like, I dude, put it up on Facebook. Right I put now. it up on Facebook last night. Basically, what happened is Rusev comes out, John Cena comes out, and he's ready for a contract signing. Yes. Right, signing for the U.S. title, and. Uh, you got a whole speech here? No, I got this. no. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. But but so 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 Cena comes out and he basically he, he says he's ready for WrestleMania. He's all about the United States of America. If there's one guy to represent the USA and one guy that's all about, you know, America, it's me. It's it's John Cena, right? So <laughs> Rusev winds up coming out with this lawyer, all right, and and the lawyer starts speaking, and right off the bat, you're like, you have got to be kidding me, man. Basically, what happened is WWE put out a last minute casting call, had a couple people come in and portray somebody that would have a Russian accent and would be able to portray a lawyer on live television in front of. 10, 15,000 people. This dude <laughs> starts talking and almost, I mean, basically had no no accent at all. I mean, he tried. I'll give the guy credit. He tried. And you've got JPL on commentary and clearly, I mean, whoever picked this guy and I don't think Vince was backstage during the talent or the, 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 the casting call. It was a member of WWE management and says, all right, you five guys, you ten guys, try it out. You seem to be the best. Maybe you're out there in front of 10, 15,000 people. And he was pretty good backstage when he's in a room with just a couple of people, WWE management. You get out there in front of 10, 15,000 people with a live microphone, it's a different story, and maybe the dude choked. Clearly, he choked. And you would have thought, uh, you would think that he was better than that when they did the casting call, got out there in front of that many people, and just choked. And and <laughs> so you've got JBL, you've got JBL on commentary last night, just completely, a complete burial of this dude, calling him a, a who is this soccer player, a, a Russian soccer or something like that, just a very straight up said the and agent, I said, the uh, the uh, um, the acting agency that they hired him from, right? Supposedly he said the legit name of the local agency in Iowa that they hired him from. Oh really? Pretty much to be like, yeah, don't hire don't, don't hire anybody. Because look, this is what they do. They well, that's, what I, that's what I said, and and they put out a, a you know a, a casting. Call, but I was telling these guys, man, where you may do a casting call and WWE would get clips or they'd be in a room and they would see this guy try out. You'd have members of management or somebody like that watching or seeing a video from somewhere to say, all right, we'll take this guy. Yeah. You get out there in front of 10,000, 15,000 people with a live microphone. It's a whole different story than recording a video analogy? or being in a room backstage. Or get a recording a video being in a room backstage. You could be in the biggest movie of all time. There's been time where guest hosts have been on Raw. They're A-list actors. And they and they suck when they get out. They get nervous. They get nervous and they they're choke. just not good doing live television because most of these actors get take 7, take 13, take Right, 40, right, right, you right, know, right. And they're not surrounded by 20,000 screaming 20, fans. 20,000 fans. The second they start turning on you, it throws you. Yeah. You've got to have experience in front right. of live audiences. You right. need to get stage actors, if nothing else. I can come on here in front of you guys, where it's just you and I Absolutely. and nobody else here. You put me out there in front of 10, 15,000 people with a live fucking microphone with fans screaming in my left ear, in my right ear, 
I can't do it, There's man. Been times I would done this choke. Show. I would choke There's so bad. There's been times bad. I've done this show where I'd have a friend or two in the room with me. Right. I'm not as good. You're I get, not as good. I get nervous. Yeah, I get uptight. Get, I can't right. fully let loose. You're my best friend, so I don't fucking care what you think. <coughs> you know what think you about, think about you're my buddy either way, so don't, you're not going to be like, wow, he sounded douchey. Right, but right, other right. friends, you don't know what they're thinking. They're talking exactly. about wrestling. He's getting all enthusiastic exactly, on a little dude. camera on his computer. And I think, I think the nervous, I think the nervousness got to him, man, and he choked in front of ten. Well, he was going in and people. out of the accident. Now, clearly, that's what I was saying. He barely had an accident. Yeah, he started off with like an attempt at a, uh, like a broken English, but here's but my listen, accent, and then he got listen. so southern. That, yeah, I think so the announcer, that's what we started saying, said, they're like, clearly they just said fucking trash him. I said to you last night, <clears throat> Vince McMahon, or if it wasn't Vince, it was I said privilege. it to you, and you agreed. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, clearly. Okay. Clearly. Yeah. The way that you JBL. Even, you were working. The way that JBL, but I hear it, man. All the right. way that JBL was Barry. Yeah, they I were mean, going he, on and on and on. Oh, oh he went on and on. No, if it's just JBL, on. that could be Vince making him be the heel announcer. Right. But they right. all three were just piling on this dude. JBL was the worst. He was dude. the ringleader, yeah. And I thought, and, and the lines that JBL was coming up with, fed straight in his I problem. thought fed directly yeah. from Vince McMahon. And the other two were just going along with it. Right, you know. right. But they, was the, basically that's why Vince, JBL stood out, because he was getting the bosses. I think, support, you know. I think Vince was in JBL's ear, and all those lines that you heard last yeah. night from JBL were directly fed from Vince. And then, like Most you said, anyway, yeah. like you said, Cole and uh, Booker. Waller. Oh, just, my God. Yeah. Waller. Booker, Cole, yeah, Cole yeah. and I almost said Waller, too. It took me a minute. But uh, they went along with it, yeah, knowing that these are clearly fed lines yeah, yeah. from somebody in the back, probably Vince. Well, they're all, they all got somebody in their ear that was at bad, one point or another. Man. So they probably, so Vince was probably feeding JBL lines, and he probably <laughs> told the other guy, and you two just agree with what he's saying. <laughs> Add in whatever comments you can come up with. This guy it sucks. Was terrible. Make it known that he it sucks. Was yeah. Terrible, man. So they the, broke uh, the fourth wall there because you're pretty much telling the fans like, yeah, this guy's an actor and he sucks. Right, right, right. As opposed to trying to sell your storyline for one of your top matches at your I mean, biggest show of the year. It was bad. Yeah. So Rusev gets angry, right? Flips over the table and um, uh, the Russian flag winds up dropping from... That uh, stuff happened. Yeah, I don't even really remember the point to all this. I know they were going to sign the contract. The contract. I know Rusev, Well, the whole reason it. the lawyer was there is because... Exactly what we said. The last Rusev didn't weeks. want to. Right. I didn't agree to it. Lana did, and then the lawyer was basically his job. They was showed to the say, video package too, and the lawyer's job was basically to say, "Yeah, Lana agreed. That doesn't make him right. legally responsible to have to do this match." Right. Uh, and then I don't. That's where I'm having a disconnect. I don't remember why Rusev decided to take the match. He took the match. Uh, yeah. There was no. That's how focused violence. on the douche lawyer I was. That I'm. I'm I know. I'm killing time for your white read right now. <laughs> what I'm doing. But I was so like not paying attention to the storyline points because the announcers weren't either and they were so focused on wow this guy sucks so I was focused on wow this guy sucks because that's who I hear talking and then the other guys I hear talking are the announcers telling me why he sucks so the last thing I'm doing is saying well where's the storyline going Russo basically said that you know he's I just he, did an amazing job he, of killing he, time he, 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 had he, no he, idea. he would he would accept the match with Cena because uh, the parents of or US parents are known as failures uh, the U.S. being a cancer patient of the world is what he referred to the United States so people that's as. why he accepted the match. I don't even know and, if that's a uh, I, I, I don't know. Ending the segment. Yeah, the, 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 the report we got up here sucks. There. there was some yeah. reason, but that's it right. wasn't important. Now you, right. There's nothing you could do. I just read it, too. There's nothing there. I, we were so focused on the goddamn lawyer and how bad he was. Yes. My play-by-play -play might not even explain it. No, I think I explained it because I remember trying to find the reason because I was we like, i got to put the by. reason. We can skip. The, oh God! And then after that segment, you and I are sitting there watching, and and they I come back from the break, like, and, and and you're like, "Don't worry, the new, the new day's here. Don't worry, man. Everything's good we now." Get during commercials, like, "Wow, this is the second to last Raw before Mania. This is their best foot forward. This is Mania season." And I kept saying shit like, "Don't worry, here we go. New days in the building. New days in the ring." And then when he's like, "Yeah, blah blah," blah. and then and, and then this it's happened. New I statement. believe this. I believe this happened during the match because he was laughing like, "Yeah, okay." And then I said, "Hold on, hold on. Now I'm being serious. Look at the TV. It's getting better." And out comes fucking yeah, two Mexicans in masks with yeah. a goddamn white bull in front of them. And I'm like, "Yo, this is you you're, gotta be you're kidding two me, man. weeks away from WrestleMania, yeah. bro. You're there shouldn't two be weeks when we go away up and down. From WrestleMania. We're skipping a lot of it, but there shouldn't be this much filler." Even if it's three hours, you can oh, still man. be able to, to uh, on WrestleMania season, Ugh. two weeks left, last second to last roll, you should have enough shit to do that 
almost right. everything why, should. Why do we have... Almost oh, everything shit, if nothing else, at least means something. And there really? was a lot of throwaway shit on this show. Why do we have comedy segments in, in The New Day and El Torito? I get comedy, and, but and, and, and comedy with a purpose is one thing. Comedy just for the sake of, well, we need to kill a couple minutes here. Everything should be main hype now going yes. into WrestleMania. But instead, New Day, Tyson Kidd, Cesaro... Uh, when do we get to lawyers. this next thing? Oh wait, where is it? The, the Battle Royals. What I'm going to go to, but we got the Big Show thing. Big Show uh, destroyed. Yeah. Uh, Real quick, uh, AJ Roman. quit. Uh, the Lesnar thing here. Here, what did you think of that? Oh, that was really. That good. was great. Sit down. Was it? And they uh, Lesnar was cussing. They and they, they, they bleeped it out. Yeah, the yeah. couple times. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. At yeah, the end. yeah. That was good. I didn't catch that a couple good. of them, but I caught the one at the end, right before he took the mic off and stood up. And you know they they shot that the previous week, which is a smart move because Lesnar's got limited dates, so you gotta when. When he's there, utilize. when he's backstage, you gotta utilize the fuck it. You gotta take, you gotta pre-tape backstage interviews. Uh, mm. You gotta do everything. I was talking to Shalik during that segment, and I said, "Bro, finally they're gonna." No, it was during the or, earlier in the show they promoted that they had a sit-down interview with Lesnar, and I'm like, "How fucking time? He's right. there last week. What did he do? Record stuff with? What him. did he do last week? Yeah, I know. He did this while Heyman spoke. He, I said that, he gets six figures per appearance. Right? He's getting a hundred grand or more to do this." For six minutes while Heyman babbles? That's what I'm saying, man. I, I told Shalik, I said, dude, you got to do something with this fucking guy. Thank God they did have him do a recorded interview. Do you, remember how great, do you remember how great the interviews leading up to SummerSlam with him? They and were awesome. They were fucking they were great. Awesome. The day that they, they had to shut down Raw because of the storm, and, and I think it was in New York, right? Recently. Right, right. And they had him do a sit-down, Reigns do a sit-down, and then yep. they had one where they're both there sitting right. down. Well, they canceled SmackDown in uh, Boston, and then they canceled uh, in Connecticut. Well, it was uh, Raw. Right, right, right. Because, right. like, the right. live Raw. Remember that JB on the roof? And all it that? was in, uh, in Hartford. Hartford Raw. Okay, so right. Northeast still. But anyways, right. yeah, anytime he does those pre-recorded sit-downs, they're amazing. Yeah. yeah no, Including when he was in UFC, those were amazing. I know. All right, you want to talk about the uh, the Andre? That's, I just, I just, <laughs> Go ahead. it's another joke. It was like, <laughs> Go yo, ahead. there's a battle. We come back to commercial, there's 20 guys in the ring, however many. Don't, don't know how many. But anyways, right. there's a bunch of guys. Uh, and then the Battle Royal starts, and then literally, literally, like 40 <laughs> seconds later, they're down to two guys already. Like, Everybody was out. Fuck it, they've got a three-hour show. You can't spend three minutes on Royal Rumble. And not only that, Royal but you're trying, you're trying to sell a Battle Royal at WrestleMania for in this, a couple of weeks. the second annual for but the yet, trophy. But yet, you, you make this Battle Royal seem like... Meaningless. You know, Battle Royals don't mean anything. Yeah, and Everybody this match out within doesn't mean anything. 30 seconds. Yeah. Everybody was gone. It was down to Mark Henry and I think Kane. And then right. Axel Mania had, in continuing yeah. with his Royal Rumble thing, right. he had never officially entered the match yet. So when they thought <laughs> right. they were in the last two, Axel comes in to try and throw them both out. And Mark Henry throws Kane out, throws Axel's out, and he's standing there. And, and that's it. A JBL, that's it. JBL on commentary did say that Axel still... Was never eliminated from the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble, <laughs> yeah. They continued. All right, we had uh, Paul Heyman. Promo Paul, Paul Heyman, Heyman, man. Great. He I'll, was let, awesome. I'll let you take it because I was busy. This is where I started to catch it up. Was on just, it was just, listen, it was the same Heyman promo that we've seen week after week. I mean, Talk it was about basically, it shoots at me. my client's going to come in and, and he's going to destroy a Roman Reigns at, at WrestleMania. Yeah. This is where Roman Reigns did come out here. Well, and, before uh, Reigns came out, Lesnar was talking about, well, what do you Heyman got? was talking about. What do you, what did I say, Lesnar? Lesnar. Uh, Heyman was talking about, what are you guys going to do if Lesnar shoots? Do you, which is weird, because you're basically saying everything else is fake. <laughs> but he was, I don't think he said the word shoot, but that basically what he was saying was, what are you guys going to do if Lesnar decides to just kick his ass for real? Right, right, which right. Which he didn't say that either, but that's, the, that's what he was implying, whatever right. he was saying. I don't even remember the wording. All I remember, what I took away from it was like, you're basically saying Lesnar could literally kick his ass as opposed to beat him in a fake scripted match. Right, right, right. right. So you're basically saying everything else is bullshit. Heyman, hey, but it was it was an awesome delivery. <laughs> Heyman it, was awesome, was, man. You know, Roman Reigns comes out and uh, he was all right too. Basically said that you know he's 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 his new thing is he doesn't like being his told family. he can't. Well, it's his family too. Well, yeah, that all the he's, family stuff. You know, but his new thing family. is you don't tell me I can't do something. And he's right. even got a T-shirt. Can't, will, and then he ends with the uh, believe that, that and all that shit. I so hate the believe that. Line. I hate it. You said I told to you me. That, yeah, you I said, said that. that. I said that that catch free. Well, look at it this way, and I brought this up too. Right. When the shield was together, right. They had the shield music. Rain still use it. Ambrose, Rollins don't. They let what? Ambrose and Rollins have their own music. Right. They would all come through the crowd. Now yeah. Ambrose, Rollins have entrances. Rain still he comes still through the crowd. The they all wear the black vests and all that shit. Ambrose, Rollins. How about shit? 
Rain still comes through the crowd. They would all say, believe that, believe in the shield. Right, right. Ambrose Rollins have new catchphrases. Reigns is still believe that. How about... How they just about, said everything that worked for the Shield. Let's that. give it to our favorite guy, and then these two guys just have him do stuff. And the guy that's just doing stuff is doing way better than the, the, the successful let formula. Me, let, me, let me say this. You're absolutely right, dude. It, it doesn't, Always it, absolutely it's, right, it's, but what are you going to say? How about this? You're trying to <laughs> you're trying to to basically a hard sell for the WrestleMania main event. Roman Reigns... Brock Lesnar, you've got Heyman out there. Roman Reigns comes out. He grabs a microphone, right? Reigns on the microphone, and you've got a loud, audible Daniel Bryan. Yeah, that too. Daniel. And poor Roman Reigns is out there cutting up a halfway decent promo last night. Yeah. But you've got the whole crowd. Daniel Bryan. And here's the Basically, difference. yo. We don't want you, man. Yeah. We don't want you. Not only you. that, here's the difference between <laughs> talent and just a guy doing what he's <coughs> doing his best. Right. In the very opening segment, we didn't bring this up. They were in Iowa. I'm assuming Rollins is from Iowa because the very fucking first thing was the crowd was in love with Rollins when he first started right. talking. And then he said, basically what he said was, uh, you know, oh, you, yeah, you guys cheer now, but you love what happened to me last week. And then he said, I'm unlike you guys because I actually did something in my life and got out of this stinking town. Right, 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 right. And then they started chanting Randy Orton and RKO. <laughs> he turned himself heel that within good. seconds. That's the way it should be. That's a talented performer. He says, yo, oh, fuck, I'm a heel, but these guys love me. How do you me. spell? And he turned it in seconds. How do you spell? On the fly. Yeah. That wasn't in the script, guaranteed. You're going to you're gonna know this because you did raw play-by-play. Play. Yeah. How do you spell Duh Moin? Iowa. Des Moines, Iowa, D E S. Uh, not even because of play by play. Right. I know Des Moines, Iowa. D E S M O I N E S. All right. Yeah. Wait, were you going to stop me with that? No, but, uh, but duh sounds like duh. U-H, yeah. There's no S in there. Yeah. Moin. There's no Moin. S. Moin. I wouldn't no even know how to spell that phonetically. There's no S in What's there. What's phonetically mean? Phonetically? Yeah. I have no fucking idea. It means you spell it how it sounds. Oh. Yeah. Well. I don't know. <laughs> How do you spell we're going to break? Uh, no, no, don't do that. We're going to break. C-I-A-L. We're coming back on the what first that side. I Commercial. wasn't listening. Commercial. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're coming <laughs> back. On the flip side, we're going to finish up Monday Night Raw. We're taking your rapid fire questions as well. What did we leave off with? Well. Leaving off right here with the no, tag team. Who was the last guy we talked about? Lesnar? Oh, uh, Roman Reigns. And Lesnar and Roman yeah, Reigns. Yeah, Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. Yeah, we don't but, have uh, Reigns, so. We're going to do uh, your rapid fire questions here when we come back on the flip side. Taking your live phone calls as well. We'll give out the uh, the live phone number when we How come back rapid fire? from the commercial know. break. How can you submit your oh. rapid fire questions? It's a great question. You can go to facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. That's what Facebook. am I going to do during the break? Slash Ryan Clark WZR. When he goes to the break, what he's going to do is he's going to go to the Facebook. He's going to type in a message. He's going to go to the Facebook. Right, he's going to go to the Facebook. <laughs> right. He's going to type in a message. He's going to ask you for your questions and comments. We want you to, to post them in a rapid style fashion. Rapid. Rapid. Because that's how we're going to answer them. One line or less. Two lines or less. Come on. No big paragraph. What if they get like a paragraph? Can we skip tonight? It's your call, man. Your show. I say we skip it. He says we we're giving him a skip. fair warning. This is a fair, fair warning, warning that one or two lines, right? That's it. No run-on long sentences either. I know yeah. how you guys are, right? They say two sentences and you've got run-on comma 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 comma. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Top post will ask your questions to comments with a rapid fire segment, which we will get to towards the end of hour number two. We will also take your phone calls. 518-712-3070. We'll be taking those. Or we'll give that phone number out when we come back from the break. Well, whatever. It's, it's not even up right now. They can call all they want, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. What? I just said it. You're listening to WZR TV Tuesday. You're also watching it. But, yeah. You can You're watching. It. Yeah. You are watching. You're listening as well. Both. But, anyway. Okay. Okay. This is my boy. I'm Ryan Clark. That's who he is. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Right back at you. We'll be back. Ready for this? Time for these games! I don't have time for these monkey games, Boone! Anyways, here we are. <coughs> back for our numeral. Those, we gotta finish up Monday Night Raw. Oh. Oh, I, <laughs> I saw you just grab it from me. <laughs> yes. <laughs>
<laughs> what are you doing? You look at the camera here. It's a tall hat. It's got the... the, the where, where can I go? This way? It's got the elf ear I didn't think it. you were really going to put the fucking thing on, man. Of course. <laughs> You're gonna spirit? sit here. You're gonna sit here for the next 45 minutes with that motherfucker on. Absolutely. I'm proud of you, man. Absolutely. I'm fucking proud of you, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, WZR TV Tuesdays. All right, get to our live chat room, WZRonline.com. Slash chat, WZRonline.com. Slash chat. Okay. I'm saying the same thing, bro. What the fuck is he wearing, man? <laughs> But anyway, uh, we got... Uh, uh, we got I looked in my closet. I didn't have any green shirts, so... I don't have any green. I tried to find yeah. some. But, uh, I was hoping to find, find like, a stuff. green pin or something. I told you what I was going to do, right? No. I was going to take... Oh, a, you were going to have a sign? I was going to take a piece of paper and literally, in, like, blue ink or something, just write the word green and then thumbtack it right there. Oh, that was the plan. That would have been excellent, That dude. seemed funny in my that head, been right? excellent. Green! All right, so... Did you put cologne on during the break, too? I don't own cologne, dude. Huh. <laughs> I got anyway, so we had a uh, we had a tag team match. It was all the guys in the uh, in the IC title battle royal, right? Danny Bryan and Dean Ambrose. Except our truth, he was on commentary. Our truth, he's been on commentary yeah. over the past couple it was of weeks. Like a backpack that has the belt in it. They are going to tear the house down. Scott Hall sent out a tweet earlier today and uh, said that he thought that. The IC title ladder match at WrestleMania was going to steal the show. Please. Basically, told the guys to make the best of it. This is your moment. Uh, do some and big he stuff. He knows from experience because at WrestleMania 10, uh, him and Razor, uh, him and uh, he was Razor Ramon against Shawn Michaels there in the go. ladder match. First ever ladder match on a pay per view in WWE. Oh, really? I had at WrestleMania. Well, it was Bret Hart's idea. That's a little known fact. And he suggested the idea for him and Sean, and they even did a couple on house shows, and I think they even taped one for like a column see him home video. Okay. Which was the VHS tapes I used to buy as a kid. That was their thing. Right. And I had seen one in the 80s with uh, Dusty Rhodes and Tully Blanchard in the NWA, but this was the first ladder match on a big pay-per-view was Razor Sean WrestleMania 10. All right. So he would know from experience, and it was for the IC title. Right. What had happened there was Sean Michaels had gotten suspended because he failed a steroid test. Mm -hmm. He claimed he didn't take him, blah, 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 he got suspended. But he was the IC champ when he got suspended, so Vince said, yeah, we need you to send the belt back. And Shaw said, basically, fuck you. I've got the belt with me, and I'm not sending it back. Right. So they created another belt while he was suspended, and Razor won that one. It was, in a, it was a battle royal. I think it was on Raw, because I remember seeing that on a DVD or a tape I owned. It was down to, like, Razor and Rick Martell or something. But anyways, Razor won it. So when Sean came back, it was, who's the real IC champ? Right. Razor got his IC belt. Sean still got the old one, and they decided to use that in the storyline. So they mm -hmm. each had an IC title because Sean had never lost his, and that's what they they held them both above the ring, and that was the first ladder match on a paper. I don't want to change the uh, subject. That's but the end of the story. Did you see uh, Mayweather Pacquiao? Did you see the new belt that they did yes, today? Yes, yes, I worth did. like a million dollars or something like that. that the belt it looks the same as every fucking WBC belt I've ever they seen. They don't know what boxing belt. It's a green with yeah. a WBC plate and then a couple of famous pictures or flags usually. <laughs> uh, look at you with that. <laughs> but anyway, no, but it, but it, it, it's one like, picture was Pacquiao, one was Mayweather. I think Ali was on there, and then some old guy that I couldn't even. I think. thought it was Bob Arum and oh, and Mayweather, and, and then it was it was Pacquiao Bob Arum and have his gray hair. And his trainer. The guy on the belt had gray hair, right? The one on the little plate? Like an old man gray hair? The side plates. Yeah. Like yeah it, was old man with, it was It was Mayweather. an old man with gray hair, right? Um, Aaron it was Don King. Don King. Wasn't it Don King? It was a white guy, like a white old man, not Robert Durst, but like another white old, you know Robert Durst. The video of oh, Burbank God, in the, the thing bathroom. that came out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the yeah, documentary. Yeah, right, right, the right, Jinx right, or whatever. Right, right, right. But, uh, yeah, no, anyway. No, I could have sworn that it was Mayweather. On the left side, it was Mayweather and Aram, and then on the right side, it was Pacquiao and whoever his his promoter is. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. All right. I, don't know. I didn't see Aram, but, and I know what he looks like. All right, all right, no doubt. All right, uh, so we have the tag team match, um, and then the main event, too. We'll just go to the main event, yeah. right? Well, the only uh, other thing would be the Bray Wyatt the last thing with Bray Wyatt. And Triple H, Stephanie, talked about that earlier. Well, we where covered that, everybody yeah. The Bray Wyatt would be the only other thing before the main event. Oh, yeah, just cut a, uh, a promo on the, uh, the Titan Tron, well, you know, Backstage. talk about the Undertaker's yeah, he's fate. the new and, face and of fear and the Undertaker's... How it's sealed yeah. and, and everything else, right. And then we had uh, Randy Orton against uh, Seth Rollins. By the way, Snoop Dogg and uh, Bill Simmons are, are hosting Raw next week. Looks like Bill Simmons sent out a tweet earlier today. Uh, WWE had hyped it up that this guy was going to call all three hours. Bill Simmons sent out a, uh, a tweet. Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? Is that outside or is that here? 
I didn't know if it was your belly making a growling noise or if it was outside or if it was no, over there. No, it wasn't, wasn't me, but... It was fucking weird, whatever it was. Like a, Is Bray Wyatt and Taker in our house right now? Like, oh, yeah. was it Reggie moaning? No. I know, that, like. I know that sound. That was, not, that was Bray Wyatt and Undertaker talking to us from the heavens, bro. Oh, Lord. All right, we WrestleMania 31, <laughs> 12 days away. So check it out. Levy Stadium. Uh, Levi Stadium. Santa Clara, California. God, who would call it Levi's? Are you serious? Levy's. Are you serious? You called it Levy's. Call it Levi's? Levy's. Levy's? Yeah. I had Good to tell Lord. him it was Levi's. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? The, the look in his eyes was priceless, though. Levi's jeans. Uh, yeah. It was a duh in his eyes. Uh, like, oh, fuck. I just said Levy's and it was that I don't know what you're Levi's. talking about. I never did <laughs> <get> that. <laughs> Every show's archive. Go look. <laughs> I know I did. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, listen. <laughs> Guess what, everybody? We, we kind of uh, ran this down already, too. It's a ruse. It's a ruse. <laughs> they caught him in a ruse trap. It's a ruse. Yeah. Uh, last night on Raw, so the authority comes out top of the stage, and uh, they were all just fucking yes, around. They're all in on it Orton, together. Right. Giving Orton a false sense of security. Right. I guess right. Is what the idea was. But, anyways, it was still stupid. So Rollins yeah. winds up attacking him, right? Or wa- Rollins well, as soon as they up. come down, yeah, they all try and attack him, I think. There right. was no match. I don't even think the bell ever rang. They just immediately started attacking him, I think. Right. You read it, I haven't. But from what I remember, they Lights all started attacking him. Lights come out. Orton's in the ring. He's got Because as soon as they start coming down the, the uh, aisle, Orton leaves the ring, gets a chair, comes back in. Right. Right, and he stands there and waits, and then the lights go out, lights come back on, Sting standing there with his bat. Right, right. right, right. I always wonder, in front of a live crowd, how does Sting just magically appear in a ring? He hides under the ring, right? And then when the lights go out, he comes out from underneath and gets in the ring. But, right. at what point Normally does he go under the ring? Um, uh, that the live crowd wouldn't already see it. Because they were chanting, Sting, 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 so they knew it was coming. Well, maybe I, they, they did it, obviously, right? I, I think everybody. during a commercial break, maybe the lights would go out or something like that, and they would have something ah, the lights, down. I mean, I'm well, not only that, oh, not, smart, I'm not, stupid. not only that, not only that, but when the, I mean, when the lights came out, Sting could just run down and get in the ring real quick. You're they smart, that. I'm stupid. I never or, even put two and two together, like, oh, they would just, I knew it during a commercial, because that well, way you don't see it on TV, but how does the live crowd not see it? I couldn't figure that out earlier today. Well, they turn the lights out, there and are, it goes under there. There are other times where they can throw on a wig in a jacket on somebody and have them walk. They would out still like see a, him climbing under the ring. Like a normal. No, they could. They could act like a. Dude, uh, they a either got to come straight down the aisle or they hop over on, the ring. They could put on a wig and, and something, and they could act like a ring crew member. Yeah, man. climbing Just a under ring, the ring and never coming back out. A ring crew member. Uh, people aren't watching that close, man. Unless you're in the very front row. You're going to see ring crew members. If you've ever been to a WWE, uh, you see ring crew members setting up pyro around the ring. Yes. And then a lot of times they go under the ring. All right? Or they walk back up the stage. This guy would go under the ring and just kind of stay there, and people wouldn't even notice. I wish we would change subjects. Maybe the more we talk about it, the the more obvious it seems, and the more stupid I feel right now. It's very obvious. As if I didn't feel stupid enough wearing this. So listen. I feel very dumb right now. uh, There's been really... Should I load up the phone? There's been... Yes. There's been really no big news uh, over the past week. Not that I can think of, but I am going to talk about... Ring of Honor and WWE, basically, you guys know that they've got major plans for NXT. By the way, the NXT live event during WrestleMania 20, uh, 31 so like weekend, bitch, yeah. dude, they've got over 4,100 tickets. Uh, Immediately. Uh, Becky Lynch sent out a tweet, 4,100 yeah. tickets. and Bexpectations right. or whatever the fuck she said. 4,100 tickets already sold uh, for in the San next San Jose, event. yeah. That is unbelievable. Not only that, but the recent live events in uh, Ohio, in Cleveland, and I uh, can't remember the other city, Cleveland and... and Philly? No, they were both in Ohio. It was part of the Arnold uh, Classic Weekend. Columbus. Okay. Columbus was the first show, and then Cleveland was the uh, the second show. But they I'm sold out. I'm not surprised at the San Jose they one. They sold out as well, man. San Jose is the same city as WrestleMania. Basically. Right, right, right there. Right. That WrestleMania is at. And, and everybody and they, goes to yeah, the indie events. Ring the ROH sells out. PWG right, sells out. Right. They all sell out because they're all there for wrestling, and you know they come from all over the country. By the way. So obviously a WWE brand would sell crazy tickets. By know. the way, yeah, you got we? paid today. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yes, another twelve pack on the way for you. Is there? <laughs> Very nice. Are we taking calls yet? Fuck. Uh, give us one second. Let me. Uh, hang on the line. Then. All right, no doubt. 
Well, uh, we're going to do, for the remainder of the show here, because we're going to get out of here right on time tonight, but uh, we're going to uh, take your rapid fire questions. Uh, we got them loaded up here, and we're going to take your live phone calls. If you guys want to call us. it down, homie. If you guys want to call us live, make sure you turn your speakers down before you call us. <laughs> Uh, you can give us a call at 518-712-3070, 518-712-3070, and Rapid Fire will get to here in just a second. See this caller, man? He, he was made right a mistake. on it, and there was a, a delay. So, he was yeah. right on it, and he said, boom, I'm turning right, my speakers down. But anyways, what's yeah. going on, man? What's up? Ryan, Matt, what's going on? Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Happy, Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, brother. Hey, um, just to... Two quick things. Um, number one, so Brock Lesnar was on last week with Paul Heyman, and he didn't say anything, as we know, and Roman Reigns didn't show his face. And then last night, when Lesnar's not, not there, he decides to come out and says, oh, well, if he was here, I would have said the same thing to his face. Well, he was there last week. Why didn't you come out and say anything last week? So I thought that was kind of, um, you know, pretty stupid. And second, the whole thing with Bruce Seven. And Lana, do you think that when she comes back, I know that this is far-fetched, but it's just something I thought about, that maybe when she comes back, she comes back as not, like, in the Russian character anymore, and maybe she comes back as just a normal, like, you know, um, American woman and says, hey, I never wanted to be this anyway. He forced me to do it. Like, maybe she comes back, like, uh, against him and not, like, in that character anymore. And that's really all. All I have. I know it's far fetched, but it's just something I thought of. All right. Thanks for the call, man. Appreciate you listening. Um, the the first one was nitpicking. Why didn't he say it to his face when he was there last week? Yeah, Lesnar's got limited amount of dates as well. So well, he's talking about Reigns. He said Reigns said this week if Lesnar was here, I'd say it to his face. Oh, well, Lesnar was there last week, so why didn't he say it to his face? That's very nitpicky. Yes. Uh, the Lana thing. I could see her returning and having a beef with Rusev, but I don't see her dropping the whole Russian thing because that would be kind of. Yeah. How would they explain that? I, like, I, oh, he may be having an accent too. Like, I, I, I think Lana comes back with the Russian accent. Yeah. But there's gonna be There'll something. Be there's already a built-in feud Russian. there with Lana and Rusev, and and whether they split or not, um, we'll have to wait and see. But it seems like that's the route that they're taking now, uh, especially if Rusev goes into WrestleMania and loses to John Cena, which it looks like it's going to happen. WrestleMania, United States title, John Cena. It looks like, help me with the word, because I honestly already forgot it, it looks like we got inundated with questions in the rapid fire. We did get inundated with with questions. Um, Jackie, baby, Jackie, baby. Yeah, it is. Caller, you're live. Jackie, hello? Hey, guys, what's up? Hey! What's going on? What's you good, tell what's us. Up? You tell us. What's, what's on your mind? Happy St. Patrick's Day first. Yes. Second, what's on your mind this week? Well, uh, we know what's on your mind. Saint, happy St. Patrick's Day to you guys as well. Thank you. Um, okay, she's going to be back at WrestleMania. She and Bruce are going to be fine. I know this for a fact because she, the WWE would not break them up because she's probably going to focus on in Cena's eyes. And Cena's going to win. I'm also a Cena t- fan, too, but I am mostly on Bruce and Lana's side right now because I have been since day one after everything they've been put, every, after everyone has insulted them. Let's see here. Xavier, Ryder, whatever his name is over at uh, NXT, uh, Tyler, whatever, Breeze, something, I don't know. Swagger and Coulter, and who knows when Coulter's coming back. Let's see here. Who else? Ryback, Seamus, Big Show, Mark Henry. Who else has been disrespecting them? Oh, yeah, Ryback. Who else? Who else? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You got John Cena, right? And he's facing Rusev. And this is for the United States title. Now, now, Jackie, you're a United States citizen. You're you're an American, right? So we should be we should be supporting the Americans. And, and the John Cena. She's Cena's. a fan of love. Triple H, Stephanie, Rusev. I know, I know. But we should, we, but, we should be supporting the... A total respect for different athletes because a lot of the hockey players that I'd like to have been on the Red Wings are Russian. Hockey fan. And uh, some of that, yeah, uh, yeah I, I told you guys I was a hockey fan. I know you're a Detroit fan. I, I didn't do know. Re- okay. Yes, a lot of the Red Wings were Russian, and some of them were some of them are Canadian. Canadian some of them yeah. have retired, and I I just don't understand why everyone has a problem with Russian athletes. They're not all that bad. I, well, I this- just want. I just want people to give 
Larson and Lana a chance. Even though some people don't like them, I'm just... Jackie. I'm, I'm just tired of it. I've been Jackie. tired of this for almost a year now. Jackie, yeah. I understand what you're saying. Give other uh, athletes a chance, Russians, this and that. But these particular Russian athletes come out and say, basically, F America, screw you, America sucks. They say Vladimir Putin yeah. is, is the best president in the world. Americans and are weak and spineless. Vlad and Vladimir's not a good guy. You can't, and, and, and I you can't support that. There's no way to no. justify it. We're Americans. We can't, we, we can't be supporting that. That, that type of stuff, can we? I, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> she likes Rusev. What are you going to do? She likes Rusev. I, I got to be honest with you, though. Uh, let me ask you this, because we've got WrestleMania in uh, in two weeks. Do you think... Less uh, than two weeks. Do, less than two weeks. Do you think, uh, you think Rusev defeats Cena? Who's Is that winning? what you're saying? I'm, I'm going to have to go 50-50 with this right now, because yeah. my, uh, my buddy last night was giving me a hard time about this, and I started thinking about this last night, and I'm like, okay, go 50-50 and see what happens, because there's a, uh, there's a couple more matches I'm interested in. I'm, inter I'm interested in the ladder match. I'm interested in Bray Wyatt versus Undertaker. My money's on Undertaker to win that. I'll give you... And Triple H. Let me, let me give you my prediction, Jackie, with, uh, with John Cena and Rusev at WrestleMania. I think, you know, they're building this up as basically United States against Russia. They had the flags in the ring last night. May even turn it into a flag match for all we know. They could do that next week. But I think at the biggest stage of them all, I think it's going to be America versus Russia. Rusev representing Russia. John Cena representing America, obviously. And I think at the biggest stage, WrestleMania 31... I think John Cena defeats Rusev. Clean and he or Lana helps? Like Lana screws uh, Rusev. I don't know, but I think it. I I don't know. I think Rusev's already got a win over Cena, uh, and I think and I, I love think even you know Stephen Booking. Yeah, and I, I even Stephen Booking is basically one win for Rusev, one win for Cena, and I think at the biggest stake, WrestleMania 31, John Cena wins. He, he he gets it, and he wins for America, and they play up the big thing. Cena did it. Biggest stage of them all. Took the U.S. title off the Russian. Takes Russia it, and, brought and, it back and to America. America wins at, when it's all said and done. That's what I think is going to happen, but we'll see. Red, white, and blue fireworks. The whole we'll thing. see what you think next week. All right, Jackie? All right, I will talk to you guys next week. And all right. um, what else? What else was I going to say? Um, when are the Yankees playing the Tigers? The Yankees she loves the Detroit Tigers. Teams. I will the say Tigers. this. Did you hear that uh, Detroit is in talks with Tim Tebow? Detroit Lions. Uh, the Detroit yeah. Lions, I believe, they may have signed him today. I don't know if it's signed yet, but I, I, I think they're going to get him. I think He would be land. a backup for Stafford. Don't worry. She's a Detroit fan. Like, I'm a Detroit fan. Nobody should be starting ahead of Matthew Stafford. Nobody. And I, I don't know when the well, Yankees play the... Uh, the I, play for the Jets? I no 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 no. He hasn't played for anybody in recent well, years. He? He's been a uh, he's, he's been an forward. analyst for ESPN. He's been working for ESPN. Uh, yeah, for That's for right. some of their shows. Okay. But and by the way, Earth whenever Earth. whenever the Yankees play the Tigers, the Yankees are going to kick that ass, and you know it, Jackie. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who is your? Okay. We yes, love you, Jackie. All right, I'll talk to you guys next week, okay? Uh, all right, have a good one. Right. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thanks for the call, as always. She's always fun. She's always fun. Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's up? Caller, you there? Nine, seven, eight. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. Nada. Try again. All right, if you guys want to get us calls, 518-712-3070, 518-712-3070. we got about 25 to minutes to go. Rapid. I do want to talk about Ring of Honor, yes. uh, WWE. WWE, we know what they're doing with NXT, kind of turning it into an indie promotion, to be honest with you. Do I know? Um, uh, WWE, NXT, uh, they're signing a lot of indie guys, yeah. guys with talents, uh, or guys with talent. Yeah. Um, you know, um, there's been talk that Samoa Joe... Is going to wind up in NXT. And uh, the Briscoes, we confirmed today that uh, that's not likely yeah. to uh, Jimmy to Jacobs happen, signed with the creative team of WWE. Jacobs to WWE yeah. going to be working. Joe we think he's going to be working down in NXT. Yeah. So, Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's up? Hey, what's going on? Uh, I just tried to call you. I couldn't hear you guys. Anyways, uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. 
Uh, Thanks, I just kind of wanted to know what your thoughts were, Undertaker, Bray Wyatt match, WrestleMania, as far as what he thinks is going to happen with Taker. I know he uh, only has a few years left in him, if only one. Uh, me being a long-time Taker fan from, you know, WrestleMania 8 and 9, all the way till now, me being 30, I kind of, you know, he's my favorite wrestler, and I just want to know what you guys want to think. Do you think that the Sting Taker 32 could possibly happen, or what are your thoughts on that? You know, it's a good question that you bring up, man, because, I mean, Taker's already got one loss, so that whole thing, you know, going into WrestleMania... Uh, Thanks for the call, man. You get, you know, going into WrestleMania, Taker's got that one loss, so what it's not like he's, it's not like he's undefeated. He basically wants to know Bray Wyatt, Undertaker, okay. who's gonna win. Um, Taker's got that one loss from last year. Gotta uh, go I gotta, you go with Bray. I mean, I gotta go with Taker. I think, I think. Well, okay. last year it was the shock and awe. Yeah, the streak is over. But I think Taker gets. What back is there to gain? On, there's nothing to gain, and Bray gets Has everything. A lot to lose. Yeah. Well, Bray gets everything with a win exactly. and has a lot to lose if he loses. Um, but if Taker's coming back in Dallas, where he's from, Texas, let next year and they want to sell a Cowboy Stadium, maybe they do the rematch, maybe they do Taker I, I, Austin, the, both Texans. I don't know that you can have Taker lose two years in a row at WrestleMania. I just, I, I, I don't see it happening. Unless you really want to put somebody over that's not like a Lesnar that's there part-time, that's a full-time guy that, here, this is the guy that puts the nail in the coffin. That should have been done And they had Wyatt year. in these promos nailing coffins. Right, It's right. very symbolic in a way, like if he's the final guy that Taker faces at Mania and he that's beats it. Taker, yeah. he literally put the nail in the coffin and some Symbolically, put the nail yeah, in the Yeah, it'd be a good way to really elevate Bray Big time. even even Big further. Time. You know, and he's the new face of Fear, etc. He's the new know. Taker. I can't see Taker losing two WrestleManias in a row. Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's up? What's going on, man? This is Nitro Bo. What's going on, Nitro Captain? Bo, man? What's, what's, up, what's up, brother? I'm not much, Matt. I, I'm here to put a little piece of that puzzle that you couldn't figure out. All right. Um, you remember you was talking about the WBC belt, and you said there was a picture of a yeah, white yeah. guy with gray hair? Yeah, yep, yep. His name is Jose Suleiman. He was oh, the I know. president of the WBC until he passed away. Now his son takes over. He was on the Nevada Athletic Commission, right? Uh-huh. He was on the Nevada Athletic Commission, right, Jose Suleiman? No, <clears throat> no, no. He was a not, judge, not, no? No, not the... No, uh uh-uh. uh. He was just the president of the WBC. Oh, okay. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can always remember Harold Letterman or one of those fuckers talking about. Oh, and president of the Jose Suleiman. Okay. Before yeah, fights. Exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. so the guy with the gray hair, that's Jose Suleiman. Okay. He and was it was a WBC belt, away. so that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. No Thank doubt. you. That He's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And by the way, I didn't even know if today was St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Yesterday? No, today. Today. Today is St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, yeah, just a quick tidbit. I was at a store, and a friend of mine is big as hell. He was wearing green, so he's always trying to crack jokes with me. So I was asking him, what's all with the green looking like a two-liter bottle of Sprite? <laughs> when, I out, when I found out, it was St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, every, but, everybody's wearing a green today, man. I've, I've seen it all over. I've been watching TV today, man, all the talk show hosts. Everybody's wearing that green today, except for the weatherman. Yeah. You know the weatherman can't wear green, dude. I, I did not know that. Because they use a green screen to do the weather. Oh, that makes sense. So yeah, if they yeah, wear yeah. green, they okay. come up as invisible. They couldn't use a blue, the don't they have a blue screen, too, they can have as invisible? I don't know. No, but they use a green screen all right, that's that up makes there sense. and it that comes up sense. invisible. All right, Nitro, I hope all is well, man. Be good. Oh, yeah, I got one last question, man. Yeah, what's pick up? Me, pick, me a, pick me a win on, on, on a ladder match. Oh, man. I got to um, go Daniel Bryan. Who do you got? You're going Daniel? Yeah. If it's not Daniel, I, I would say probably Dean Ambrose. Or Ziggler. Uh, I go it's, Daniel Bryan. He's, he's going to go. I'm going to go out on a limb. He's I'm going to go out on a limb. You know what? I'm, 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 I'm going to go out on a limb, too. Boone says Daniel Bryan. I'm going to say Dolph Ziggler. Wow. And I'm okay. probably wrong. I'm going to say Wade Barrett. Wade, Wade Barrett. Barrett? Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, all I'm right. going to say and Wade what? Barrett. Because there's been an angle where everybody's been stealing his belt as of late. I was just going to say that. So I was just going to say I'm that. Cool. Yeah, like the, the, the funny part of the angle is that everybody's taking turns with the belt. But had Barrett not been the last guy with it on Monday at Raw? Right. Then I would have said yeah. what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, like it would have been like a poetic finish. Like, oh, it's been circled around everywhere. Yeah. And then in yeah. the end, he still keeps it. Right. But because he kept it on Monday, he got it back, or I should say. Right. I think somebody's taking it at Mania. That's my All guess. Right. All right, no doubt. All right, be good, man. Have a good week. 
right, man. Take care, man. All right. Later, man. All right, here we go. Let's get to some of these rapid fires. Where the Pick hell a break from the, uh, from the phone. Where has Cali been, My right? I call her every week. And he My God, him. man. Let's do one refresh. We'll do a refresh of the rapid fire. If you didn't get them in by now... We're not squeezing these in 10 minutes. But we've got about 20 left here. Oh, okay, okay. We'll get through. All right, here we go. Tom Nelson. Given the shape he's in, great... Uh, could Sting have more than one match? Absolutely. He absolutely could. Will he? Will is he? a different question. I don't know. It depends. Let's see what they do. Yeah. At Mania. Let's let's see what happens after after WrestleMania. Jason Hansen says, "Boone, do you think our star Overstream <laughs> is afraid to fight Junior Dos Santos? He did duck the question during the post fight interview. Who would win? I'd go with Sagano by KO. Sagano's JDS. I gotta go JDS. I'd go with. Uh, oh, I would absolutely." Go Alistair right. Overstream's got the... I say it like that every time. Now, <laughs> on purpose, but it's just it's right. natural. Uh, he's got the glass chin. Like, even Nelson... Well, Nelson can knock anybody out, but... He's got the weak chin. He's got man. the weak chin, yeah, and, and Dos Santos is a very precise, technical, and powerful striker. Uh, and yes, I do think he might duck him, because they tried to do that fight like a year ago, and, and Overeem wasn't no part of it. Really? Uh, and like he said, he ducked the question... At this the, weekend, uh, at the yeah. So he clearly doesn't like eager for that fight. Uh, Lance Winter, here he is. Winner's Lair. Uh, Seth Rollins cash in at WrestleMania, and those poor guys that had to change out their awesome outfits in the front row. BS. You know, I agree. That's WWE, crazy. Did WWE that? always encourages fans to dress up as their favorite at the characters Hall of, oh, okay. and 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 at the Hall of Fame. They say try and wear nice clothes. That's casual. Stuff. But at live events, they always the encourage casual, their fans. Yeah. To <laughs> right, well, casuals wear right, whatever you right, want. Right. At, at Hall of Fame, they say dress up. Yeah, yeah. but at Raw, you right. should be able to wear whatever the hell and, you want. And, and and WWE encourages that. Show up as as your signs, favorite wrestler. And they take signs if you don't like. The what they problem do. is, is that they were in the front. They were in the front row. There were nine of them. Come there on. were nine of them last night. They were in the front row. WWE security came out and basically said... Are you same. defending this or just telling the story? I'm, I'm telling the okay, story, okay, okay. but the fact that there were nine of them, they were on the hard camera, they were yeah, right there. So they were there all center. night. They TV. were there all night, and in WWE's defense, I could see where what they would they say... Uh, one of them was Macho Man, one of them was IRS, one of them was Wait Ric Flair, one of them was... So they dressed up as wrestlers at a wrestling, wrestling show and they got... They were, the, stop they, it! They were in That's full... That's bullshit. I, I agree. Good I agree. Lord, man. It's, but... They were front enthusiastic, row. Enthusiastic, diehard fans. They were front row. Not only that, but front row tickets are $100 Expensive. a pop. Yes. $100. There were nine of them. They paid almost $1,000 with the taxes total, yeah. to get those front row tickets. And, That's uh, total they were bullshit. Told. I don't like it. They were given free WWE merchandise. They wrote a letter today. Put it up on uh, Reddit. Uh, Reddit. They're waiting for a response from yeah. WWE, and we'll see what happens. The, the Rollins cashing. Uh, Seth Rollins cashing in at WrestleMania. Oh, Are we on your page? Yeah. What the fuck is she doing there? Uh, she's a friend of mine. Okay, anyways, Rollins Cashin. Um, Rollins <laughs> Cashin, you know, listen, if Roman Reigns wins the title, um, and, and Rollins is their guy now, clearly, uh, it's very And possible. they just did something with Rollins and Reigns like a week or two ago. I wouldn't rule it out. I... I Talk to ask me that next week. Let me th let me sit on see that. See what they do on the go home show. Let me sit on that for a week and see if Rollins even hints at cash. Even in. a tease, yeah, yeah. They even go there in that direction. And maybe they won't and do it as a complete, complete shock surprise. That would be the smartest way to do it. If that they do it. Yeah, yeah. Not even mention it. Not even hint at it. Nothing. John Morgan says if Rusev's lawyer was that terrible and won the audition, how bad must the other guys have been? Exactly, they must have been. All well, and that's the <laughs> thing. The guy, they may have got an audition tape, and the guy he was been great. great. He was great. Yeah. But you get out there in front of that many people, and you choke. It happens, man. It uh, it happens. Um, Anthony, Anthony Remy. Remy thought on Jimmy Jacobs signing with the we WWE creative that. team. Talked about that earlier, but you know, well, that's, that's, we talked I about like it. I we like talked it. about like yeah, he looks like for lack of a better phrase, a freak. And it's kind of weird to see him sitting in a room with suits and ties. But, but it's a guy that has experience. That's my on question the to you because you know ROH and the Indies and stuff a lot better than me. I'll give you that. Jimmy Jacobs is he a guy that's known to have like good creativity? I don't know that he does. I know that Delirious has was his the character main... been. I know Delirious ran ROH. Before, Delirious right? was the main booker for yeah. ROH. I don't know if Jimmy Jacobs had input but no, with Delirious. Just Jimmy but Jacobs, his character has he always had like an interesting character? He's always or been good. good he's a great or... worker, man. He's a great worker. 
Uh, don't know much about like his promos. That's like an indicative. Of I talent? don't know much about his promos. Okay. But but I think it's a, the guy's got experience on the indie scene. So. Ryan Shoptal says, "Do you think that The Rock will be at WrestleMania again this year and be involved somehow with Lesnar Reigns?" You asked you know, me that, and I said, I've been talking real quick, to you about because you got no, a whole go thing. Go uh, my my very brief and very obvious answer would be no, because he's doing Saturday Night Live the night before. WrestleMania, and he's got to be there all week because they do a dress rehearsal and, and a lot of uh, uh, fighting I, I, and stuff. I get so, that. So he would literally have to fly, and, and Saturday Night Live late at night. It's late. So it's they late. He'd literally have to fly late as shit on a Saturday night or right. Sunday morning and be there and have something to do and, and go do it with let's, no real training or let's practice. Let's say, keep in mind, he's got to fly out of New York City. He gets to L.A., and he's got three hours back time because yeah, of I'm tired. He hasn't slept. Well, now he's three hours behind. But you've got three hours back time. Listen, but he hasn't even time to practice whatever he would do because he's got to practice SNL all week. But, but right, but, but, but uh, all right, SNL airs on Saturday night. Mm-hmm. He sleeps. First thing Sunday morning, he flies out. He goes to L.A. If he arrives, if he be, if he arrives in L.A. at eleven o'clock or or noon yeah. Eastern time, that's nine a.m. L.A. time. You go out, you do something at at WrestleMania. You know that night, you sleep on the flight out there. You know who knows, but. They did Hogan Rock Austin last year. That ring set. You Rock has technically this. been on WrestleMania. Not technically. He has been on WrestleMania the last four years in a row. I don't. I he hosted don't. it four years ago. Three years right. ago, him and Cena. Two years ago, him and Cena too. Yeah. And last year, Cena Hogan Rock. They've got. A, they've got. Cena Hogan Austin. I'm sorry. You would think or that a Hogan. Hogan I'm you sorry. would think <laughs> that, that a Hogan Austin or Rock, somebody like that, has to be there. Hogan at will WrestleMania, be there. But. I think Hogan will, Hogan will be there. All right, we got uh, Matt Johnson. While I agree the build has been lacking, I think WrestleMania card itself is a solid card. Anyways, do you think Sting goes over at WrestleMania? I see him going over and facing Taker. I don't think Sting comes in WWE and loses his first match. I know it's against Triple H. I don't think Sting yeah, loses no, his first Sting match wins. in WWE. Sting wins. Anthony Remy, what's the deal with ROH talent trying to prevent WWE from rating their talents? Or ROH trying to prevent WWE from rating talents? Well, we WWE's after a lot of their talents. So ROH and... The part we didn't mention, ROH has been trying to re-sign guys. Trying to lock guys down. Yes, yes. The Young Bucks being They're one of those guys. teams. Yeah, Briscoe's, Young Bucks. WWE is definitely interested in indie talents these days. So. Especially for NXT, like you said. Yeah. Jay Mullen, you guys do realize New Day, Los Matadores, Cesaro, and Kid, etc. are involved in the tag team title picture at WrestleMania. Yeah. But there's been no build. That's why there we, was a little less we don't night. care. There was a little last night. They you did the New I mean? Day against Cesaro and Kid, and Los Matadores came out during it, and they did a big schmoz at the end. Yeah, uh, and Jay Uso is injured, so I think that's why they're not in it. The Uso, that too, that too. Jay Mullen also says, "I also don't think the crowd reactions at WrestleMania will matter in an open room." I was going to bring that up earlier, and I talked about it last week. Where a lot of times at WrestleMania, even if the crowd is booing, and you can't really tell, it's when not you're as watching a the great pay-per-view. sound on television. In right. the arena, you'll hear it, right. but it'll be delayed. Yeah, because it doesn't it, bounce back at you off the walls and the ceiling. It right. escapes, and the way it on comes TV, across on TV, yeah. you especially can't really if, even tell. if they super mic that audience, right. it's going to sound like shit on TV because right. either it'll be very delayed or it'll be very muffled. Yeah, know? we're not, you know, and that was the thing last year. But still, I think if it's super overwhelmingly negative, that'll come across on TV. Even if it's not right. overwhelming, it'll come across. Right. Vincent Nugent. Vincent Nugent there. says, Do you guys think that WWE Divas were really given a chance on Raw this week with that match? Plus, is it a start or does Vince still not really care for it? Thoughts? Who's talking about give Divas a chance? The Divas, that? yeah, the, the hashtag thing. Uh, I mean, they are doing tag team Same match, old but shit to me. Last all time. the other Divas on the roster are screwed, like Natalia and, and... Well, no, she's part of that Czar kid and all that stuff. She's kind of like a thing. There. She'll get her moment where she's out there with... Well, it's every week they've kid. given her something. Right, those, right. Know, she's part of the angle, not the match. And she hasn't really done any matches lately because she's in this storyline. The, the Divas are always going to be filler TV. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. The crowd is dead. They pick one or two, here's Divas our Diva match. thing for right now, and the rest of you, uh, during, you're going to do house shows in, in NXT. During every yeah. Divas match, the crowd is dead, man. I mean, let's be honest, man. Uh, Brandon Brown, do you guys think the NXT guys will be in the Andre the Giant Battle Royal? Yeah, any NXT guys. Um, uh... I think they're going to do the NXT live event during WrestleMania weekend. They're very happy with the crowd that they've got right now. They've got 4,100 fans. They released a couple of extra tickets uh, today. Yeah. and uh, So it's not sold out just yet. Probably by now it is. Definitely going to be sold out. Uh, um, yeah. 
And the other thing is, DeAndre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, I think last year was 30 people? Yeah. This year was supposed to be 20? 20. Yeah. And how so many is in it already? There's like 17 already, right? It's a lot of So names. if there's any NXT guys, there'd be one or two maybe. And I think I think the guys that are already called up to the main roster, they're going to get the chance to shine before like the Lucha NXT Like a Lucha Dragon, guys. Tyler Breeze, one of those guys that's been no, working in the house shows? No, I, I, like I, a I, Bo Dallas? Guys that are wide. on the actual roster and okay. have been there. They've been on the main roster. This is their shot. If there was thirty, right. I would almost say you're guaranteed a couple of NXT. Yeah, 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 because we know there's twenty. I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Joseph Gallows says, "Is Paul Heyman leaving after WrestleMania 31?" I, think, I don't think so. I think it depends on Lesnar. I think Heyman sticks around even if Lesnar doesn't resign. I don't think he does. No. No. I do. I do. Because Heyman can well, work with anybody else. If Reigns turns heel on Lesnar and aligns with Heyman, then yeah. I think he stays because he's got something to do. Otherwise, I don't think they're going to go out of their way. They don't like Heyman. They they respect know, his they talents. Do. Yeah, they you're just right. don't. They don't like him. You're right. You're right. So unless he's needed, like Lesnar, but they I didn't want Heyman. And Lesnar did. I, here's the story, and I'll do it quick because I know we're on real short quick, time. man. Real quick. Lesnar came out to do a promo. He sucked. When he got backstage, he said, "See, you should have brought Heyman." Right. And then they said, "Fuck it." And they called Heyman because Heyman had this big blow up when he left WWE right. several years ago. So they wanted nothing to do with him. They didn't, they, and Heyman thought he'd never be there again. And because Lesnar pretty much was this high-profile guy that they're paying a trillion dollars to and he can't talk, they're like, fuck it, Heyman, Lesnar wants you. you, we know you're good, we don't like you, but we know you're good, Lesnar wants you, right. there you go. Right. All right, we had uh, Christopher Brown, just wanted to let you know I still haven't gotten the t-shirt in the mail yet. Really? Did I forget a t-shirt? I don't keep track, you do. I there was one it. guy that's been out there, his sister that's or a, a sister <laughs> or somebody had emailed me about it, if that's you... I, I know about that one. It was a sister or an aunt sure, or something like that. I know Christopher so, Brown's name, and that's a big fan right there. Uh, Make it email right. Email me again and tell me if, if you're the guy that had the sister or the aunt or somebody like that, That uh, and I'll, I'll get it out to you. Um, he also says the contract signing. The contract signing, uh, the bad contract signing. Do you think Creative will wisen up and do something different for a change? No. no. Jason no. Hand. Jason Hanson, I recently read that UFC's Henry Cejudo was in talks with WWE prior to joining the UFC. That's true. Uh, WWE reportedly wanted to make him the next big Latin star and similar to Kurt Angle being a gold medal, etc. You think it's possible in the future? Uh, it, it was possible at one point, but not now. He's going to be a big deal in the UFC, probably. All right, we have uh, Kevin Owens is out for, uh, this is from uh, Joseph Gallo. So Kevin Owens, Owens, yeah, it's four to six weeks. Uh, will NXT strip him of the NXT no. championship belt? No, they've already got TV taped. Uh, actually, no, they don't. You've got more TV tapings coming up. But this they don't Thursday need him to night. work. But he could still cut promos That's and, all and need. do yeah. things and like that. And he's a good talker, so, so it would even work yeah, good. Yeah, there are NXT tapings this Thursday night, so we've got those. Vince Nugent is WWE these days taking and running the live experience away of the fans with fans changing costumes or their signs being taken away. Thoughts? You know, they encourage it that. and then they tell you if you're They encourage it but only if it's like little kids that do obvious like we love John Cena as opposed or, to something clever or funny or that they don't like oh man they're talking about something we don't want them to know about. Or if you're in the lower deck or upper deck and you're not front and center yeah. on TV that could have been the idea last night. Probably. So. Joseph Gallo is back again. I never knew the Wolves was on. What would you do that for? I didn't know what you said. I just, uh, just I agree Gallo. with you, and, and in case you were saying stupid things right now, I, I never I knew the Wolves <laughs> was on NXT once they didn't <laughs> sign with NXT slash WWE. Why did they sign with TNA? The Wolves have never been in WWE, that's to the untrue. best of my knowledge. They did a tryout. Uh, they did a tryout, but they never signed. That's the point, though. He says, why? Uh, the qu the answer would be WWE didn't really have any interest in them. They, they didn't had, like them, right? Edwards and David Triple H yeah. didn't like them. They didn't like them yeah. when they did the tryout. They so over. I think they actually offered yeah. him something somehow, but th it was such a shit offer, and they were so heavily courted by TNA that they were like, nah, we'll go to TNA. Right, right, at the time. Yeah. And it may be a different story it now. It would be a NXT. much different story with the way NXT is. So let's see what happens I there. Um, and they're under contract. They they're well, they're, they just yeah, resigned. We were posted. Yeah, Gabber. No, I know they did. We just okay. posted it. Yeah. All right. Joseph Gallo also says, last question. I will not have an event at the 23... Will NXT have an event? Will... Oh, okay. I thought it was I, and that was an exclamation point. Will NXT have an event at the 2300 Arena? How awesome would that be, NXT in the old ECW there Arena? There is talk of doing that. We put it up on the so website said Philly, uh, yeah, last week. No. Yeah. So they're not booked for Philly yet, but they're talking about going there? They've got a uh, reservation on That's, the ECW okay. Arena. Uh, they haven't officially booked it. 
but they've got a reservation. And if I can uh, swear, Shalik made a post about how they have two yes. events scheduled at the East of I think it is two. I think it's. I, I think it is. I think it's a weekend okay. shot. But they've got reservations. I wasn't positive, so I didn't want to disagree. But it's with not you. confirmed. Okay. But they're going to book those things. There you go. NXT Philadelphia. It's going to sell. It's out a no-brainer. Yeah. Absolutely. Especially um, with the talent in NXT right now, that's the Philly crowd would eat that up. Oh, absolutely, man. Uh, Vincent Nugent, Ryan and Matt, I want to inform you that calling me up for the long rapid-fire response from last week isn't necessary and was personally uncalled for. That really turned me... Really ruined the show experience. Oh, come on, bro. We've been telling you for weeks to tone it down with the rapid-fire questions, but we get these long paragraphs. I wasn't directing it at him. There's plenty of people who go way too long. We know who it is. Now listen, he's consistently too long. No, I'm not bitching out of it. I'm saying he's the most consistent, obvious one. Very long. But there's plenty of people who do it. I wasn't calling him out. We love you, bro. I love (laughs) Acer. Bro, he's all over my Twitter. He's all over my Facebook. He's all over Rapid Fire. He's all over the chat room. He's one of us. Acer. Acer is fans. probably one of our most loyal, diehard fans. You've Top got, five. You've got Ryan Acer. Gow, in no order. Rygal, Winner's Lair, John Morgan. Uh, who's the guy that Christopher does all Brown's the, who here did, every who week. Who does all the Twitter stuff? Um, uh, Jorge. Uh, Jorge. Jorge Romero. Uh, Jorge. Yeah, Jorge Romero. And then Acer would be right in there. Acer's been here for yeah. years. And then man. Bro, Robbie you, bro? Acres, Roller, whatever the fuck his name is. There's he a was, bunch of guys. Maybe he's in a bad mood tonight. Maybe. Maybe he's in a bad mood. We love you, Acer. Yeah. We love you. Well, I Take apologize. It uh, he's and then back, he says, and he says, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's back, baby. Yeah. <laughs> he says, uh, in regards to Impact Wrestling, why are the ratings dropping uh, in the United States? Man, I'll tell you what. Uh, well, well, he goes on. He says, uh, but are drawing greater numbers in foreign countries outside of North America, and foreign TNA All fans. Foreign TNA fans, really? Are, they really. I, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Foreign Dirt. TNA overseas. Yeah. They get a any lot wrestling of in Europe is yeah. super strong, right? Yeah. Right, and as they don't get as much of mainstream stars there as we do. So when they do come, they they flock to that absolutely. shit. Absolutely, and as far as like America, dude, I mean they're on Destination America. It's not the best station in the world. It's a terrible station, and, uh, and the other thing, they are general, doing things. They yeah. take their impact tapings this past weekend, um, and they are doing a lot more. PG-14, PG-13 type stuff. No, I wouldn't say that. They had a lot of blood in two matches. A lot of blood. Really. Yeah, there was a lot That's of blood PG. in there's They're, they're, they're a lot of going matches. a little bit more risky. Risque. Risque, yeah. Yeah, so... But, uh, no, just in general, uh, Europe's a, hot, a hotbed. Like, fucking... Like, if you were to say some of the hottest locations, I would throw UK. Mm-hmm. Uh, or England to be specific. Uh, Canada. Canada would be in there. I would even throw Mexico in Mexico. there. Mexico. Uh, and then there's certain states in America like Australia. Philly, Australia's pretty Australia's you, yeah. yeah. And in America, Philly, Chicago, New York. Right. Uh, Dallas maybe even. Like there's yeah. a bunch of great ones. A bunch of hot markets in, in America. But, uh, but but for the most part, yeah. <coughs> UK is a huge market. Yeah. What we got next, man? Jason we got Hanson. 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 We love you, bro, man. And he says, who's your pick to win the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal? I'm going with a returning Sheamus. That's what I said last night. I said that last night. I said that last night. I said that last night. Okay, he said I that said the night. promos have been You Aaron. said, is he returning tonight, next week, or at Mania? And then yeah. I said, all right, well, if it doesn't say tonight right now or next week right now, he'll probably be a surprise in the Memorial and then win it. Happy St. Patrick's Day. The Celtic Warrior. The Celtic Warrior. Guinness. Yeah. <laughs> Last one. And, our, and it's listen, right to you. And our yeah. boy Vincent Nugent going to finish out the night. Our most di- the loyal diehard man. Uh, what do you think about your Buffalo Bills and their recent players they acquired from the other NFL teams? Are they good players to have? Listen, man. Sean McCoy. Beast. Beast, man. CJ Spiller, I know he's going down to New Orleans. Castle. Matt Castle. Oh, my God, dude. He's probably going to be our starter. He's going to fight it out with E.J. Manuel. I think they start Emmanuel, the and then if Emmanuel even has one bad game, they say, let's try Castle and see Cass- what happens. Dude, Castle? He's a beast. Are, dude, Castle are not Underrated. People. When he came in for Brady, I said this last week, man. When he came in for Brady and he played for Brady, it, he was pretty good and Castle for is the Patriots. C-A-S-S-E-L, not Correct. C-A-S-T-L-E, like no. Castle, a building. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, then he gets traded from the Patriots and he goes to the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. Okay. He leads them to their first divisional championship playoff game in seven years. All right. 
First playoff game for Kansas City in seven years and earns a Pro Bowl spot in the process. How is Castle a bad quarterback? How is he went to the Pro Bowl? He led Kansas City to a to a, a, a divisional championship playoff game. He filled in for Brady and was pretty good for the Patriots. He's not that bad. He's not great. He's not great, but he's not terrible. And he's better than what we have in in EJ Manuel. So why not? Why not? We got rid of Scott Chandler to the Patriots. He's I'm out not, of there. I'm not a big fan of that. And you got rid of CJ. Oh, you already said CJ's bullet to the Saints, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And right. we got a receiver too. I can't remember who it was though. I told you about it the other day. I know when Dominic and Sue left the Lions. I know so we nice. got or no, we didn't get, but we might be getting Tim Tebow. Who was our? Who did oh. we pick up as a uh, as a receiver? It was a. Uh, oh, uh, 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 God, from 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 the Jets. A uh, receiver. Not Darrell Revis. We were thinking about Oh, him. oh, oh, I know who you're saying. Revis, Ramis. Oh, No, fuck. Darrell Revis. I'm talking about Darrell Revis, but but it's not him, dude. He, no, he's no, going no, somewhere no, else. no, I'm thinking of someone else. Um, oh, God. I'm not going to get it. Harvin. Percy Harvin. Levin or Harvin. Percy Harvin. 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 Percy Harvin. It's like Harvin. Percy Harvin. Harvin. I had him in fantasy last year. Yeah, that's Percy Harvin. I remember him from. We got Percy Harvin. 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 Okay. So he's coming in from the Jets. Now, if he can stay with his migraines. Yeah, 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 they got it. That's who I was trying to think of. Too, with, his, uh, with his migraines and everything else, if he could stay healthy, it's a big pickup for us. You guys so got lose, a good team to work we with. We lose Scott Chandler, but we pick up Percy Harvin. I'll take that all And like day. I said last week, I think it's going to take a year for you to figure out the best way to use all these new guys you got. Like, you might lose a few games trying to figure out the best way to run plays. Got to get everybody on the same page. A year, maybe two years from now, the Bills are going to be a playoff team. I think so. Like, a guaranteed I playoff so, team man. every year. I think so. And I think the Lions are already a guarantee. I think we proved that this year. But, uh... Well, yeah. can, uh... And Dominic sue. sue. I mean, that's, gone. that's a big loss that for you, is, but he's a on the dirty side. player, man. I don't care. I know. So he loses he's money for being an asshole. I don't I care what money he makes. He's a good player, and he helps the defense. I know. He was a big part a of the very defense. good player. Yeah. I think he's going to Miami. I didn't read it. I, didn't I think know. he got I just traded to Miami. I read that we got rid of him, which sucks. Anyways, good night tonight, brother. Well, it's nice that I have a big heel on your team. Yeah, I know. Like, who, who is Terrell Owens? I got a big heel on my team, and, and this guy right here. Well, on this team, yeah. But remember Terrell, I think it was Terrell Owens. Yeah, yeah they Terrell Owens or Randy Moss. It, he would take the sharpie out and send it, and then he would go over to the cheerleaders and take their pom poms. And when he was doing the, the fucking touchdown, I said he's a heel, but he's <laughs> awesome, bro. How could you not be entertained by that shit? I know. When I he know. took the pom poms from the cheerleaders and started <laughs> doing a dance with them after a touchdown, I was like, that's the greatest get, fucking thing. I, I, everybody get, remembered the sharpie, but the the pom poms was my shit. He'd man. get fine for that all, so all the time, fine after fine, yeah. after fine. But he didn't care. It was he fucking didn't. awesome. All right, we're out of here, man. That's uh, we're, we're gonna have uh, WWE SmackDown spoilers on the uh, main website. I'm only here so I don't get fun. <laughs> I'm only here so I don't get fun. I'm only here so I don't get fun. Who the fuck was that, Marshawn Lynch? Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> He's a good super, heel too. At the Super Bowl. He's uh, a good heel too. The media Seahawks. day. Yeah. Running back, right? Super Bowl media yeah, day for the they Seahawks. Fucking passed it. Uh, anyways, let's get out of here for it. We're out of here. Right. Yeah. We'll see you guys next Tuesday night. It's the Go Home Show. It's our Go Home Show for Megatron WrestleMania the best. Calvin 31. Johnson for life. Sorry, go ahead. Calvin Johnson's the yeah. beast, man. Acer, we love you. All you guys in the chat room. Ryga, who we got in there, man? 585, Anthony Remy, A-Train, Colt. Brian's in there. Dark Angel, Jerrica Holic, another uh, a lot of diehard yeah, people. There's that are the here. same names you see a lot. Ronji, Ronji. Yeah. Vader's in there. Wrestlepin's in there, though he just left us. But right. we're out of here. Uh, we will see you guys next Tuesday night. Our go home show for WrestleMania 31. Hopefully, we come off next week's Monday Night Raw, man. With, with something to talk about. Man, hey, something, man. Like, something to get excited about. Something, man. Uh, uh, we need something. But uh, next week is going to be a huge week. Uh, the next couple of weeks on the websites for us is going to be crazy with the of amount work. of news and a lot Especially of Especially for me because the guy work. I work with is going to Mania. Yeah, yeah. Don't say how or know, why or any of that know, stuff. Know, Look, he's a very important person. Let's just put it that way. Very important person. I love him. Picture your favorite guy on Raw every week. That important. But anyway, reason I'll watch Raw every week. Yeah, me too. But, uh, yeah, that important. But, uh, so he'll be there, so I gotta do everything myself. Mm. Yeah, that, I think they can narrow it down. We're out of here, yeah. brother. <laughs> Alright, thanks for, uh, tuning hey, in. Hey, hey, we're all up in court. We didn't say anything. We didn't say anything. Uh, we didn't mention any names. He wouldn't care anyway. What the fuck?
I don't think so, but don't say it. Anyways, don't say get it. us out of here. Yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Matt back. Boone. <laughs> we want your feedback. <laughs> we want your feedback. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we want your feedback. <laughs> Tell them how they can You can go to the Facebook, <laughs> facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WCR. That's for him. Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WCR. That's for me. Let us know what you liked. We'll do more of it. Let us know what you didn't like. We'll do less of it. This is how we make the show exactly what the motherfucker you want to see in here. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WCR. Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WCR. Get us the motherfucker out of here. Oh, I got some beer uh, drinks. Uh, Matt Boone. Happy St. Patrick's Day. That's me. Ryan Clark. That's happy that guy right St. There. Patrick's Day. We'll see you next Tuesday. Green. Our go home show for WrestleMania 31. We're out of here. See you next Tuesday, guys. All right. Be good. <coughs>